Hi everyone. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick. We're from HealTeachLove.org. And today is Saturday, December 17th, 2022. And this is our pet healing. And as Philip mentioned earlier, we will do uh, pets first, anyone with pets that need healing. And if you, any humans need healing after that, we will gladly do healing on humans. Rick and I, just to give you a little background and very briefly, Rick and I uh, discovered that we were healers after my husband uh, went through a couple of events after I was doing uh, decrees and asking my guides to help me find my joy. My husband was asleep in the next room and as I was raising my vibration doing decrees every night, I didn't realize that it was raising his vibration at the same time. Shortly after that, he started seeing orbs and then he started seeing angels and angelic beings that just blew his third eye open and um, and scared him, frankly, when he started seeing Jesus standing next to him as he was brushing his teeth. And then he started seeing fairies and other things. Yeah. Um, then the white light came during the daytime as he was laying down trying to take a nap and his body started vibrating and the pure white light of Creator came and merged with him. After that, I started getting downloads when he would be scanning somebody that was sick. And I started getting downloads and seeing inside people's bodies. And as they were being healed, he was heal the healer. I would just see it and get start getting the information. So through a friend that channeled uh, channels for us, Archangel Michael told us that we were healers, that we were a team. He healed. I saw the information and would tell the person. We also see their past lives. We can tell if they're lying to us many other things and um same higher self. we have this yes we have the same higher self we share the same higher self in this life and that's our story in a nutshell as as they teach us as we go forward they they give us messages and teach us and guide us along the way creator does and uh we started doing these healing uh, sessions with our colleague philip barrow not me <laughs> yes thank you Deb. thanks a lot uh, yeah, I've been healing since I was five year old. The first healing was on my goldfish. I died for two days and I brought it back to life. I was only five and my hands glowed. Never glowed since, but uh, I always thought everyone could do that. I thought it was just a natural ability, if you know what I mean. But everyone can do, but you do need to train up a little bit for it. Uh, I remember when my girls, when they were seven and ten, brought me hamster. They brought their hamster and it was on its last legs kicking and uh, it, it was two and a half years old and he said dad we know you're a great healer which when your daughters are saying that you've got to be a great healer then haven't you and uh, i brought it back to life and it lived till it's five which is probably a world record for hamsters uh, i've also was healing a, a dog where i work next door and he was just about to pour it down mm -hmm. and uh, it came back to life it's uh, mm -hmm. it started being a youngster again are you okay Deb? Yeah, it's good uh YouTube, hold on. I'm turning the speaker off. There you go. Sorry about that. You're welcome. So yeah, I was healing next door's dog. He was 15, quite old for a medium to big side dog. And I got another two years. So everything's possible. If we can believe everything is possible, it normally manifested through. But I love doing these because every every time there's a new experience for all of us. And I've got my I've got my oracle cards if you want them. I've also got my shun light, which protects us from attacks, and also my crystal ball, which also protects us from any attacks on the internet. Just to let you know if anyone gets worried because anyone can see this. I'll be to you, Deb. We're ready to go. Yeah. So I would, if you don't mind, I'd like to start with um, our little girl who's really, 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 really ill. Deb, do you think we could do her at the beginning and at the end because obviously we'll be at the end we're, we're, we're in the zone aren't we so uh, she can have two lots yeah do you want to yeah that's fine i have to share her picture her name is Maxine but I don't think she recognizes her name she just goes by Kitty let me bring her up how old is she Deb? 15 it's so hard for me I get so emotional about these cats that I care for. They do say it's harder to do yo. Know, the veterinarian said she's in kidney failure, so that's why I, but I, I just feel like there's something I'm missing. 
picking up that she's heartbroken. I think she misses her broken. Yeah, I think Layla. so too. We'll be there next Friday. What are you picking up, Phil? Uh, I think uh, once she knows that she's going to see, is it your granddaughter? I think she'll be cool. I'm trying to give a message in her, in her head. Thank you. It is, it is missing the other, missing your cats that you, you lost. She's very attached to my 34 year old granddaughter and her daughter. Her and the dog are really attached. <laughs> That's why they're here together. The dogs are doing fine, though. Yeah, the dogs are very healthy. A little too healthy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I checked the card, actually. He's got an extra blessings off the angel, so I thought we could. Right. I, I didn't pick her. I think it's just she's it, it very sad. Yeah. Thank, thank. She just needs to eat. Yeah. She mm. just, I mean, She's so bony and skinny. She's just deteriorating. One one day, I thought she was just going to die in my arms. She just would her paws. She just wasn't even lifting her head. She a little bit. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll do it again at the end. All right. Um, before you got here, uh, Lily, there was Victoria for Bobby. Yeah, I have. Oh, did her. you see that? Okay. No, she wrote again, so I have. Okay. Her. Okay. And yeah. And then that's it. And then and then wrote Linda. Okay, great. You, then you have it all. You have it all. Good. Hello, everybody. I just wanted to say hi. 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 You can see why I'm going to stay off camera. I just barely brushed my hair today. <laughs> <laughs> you look fine. What are we doing for? Her? We're doing Victoria. Oh, okay. All right, Bobby, rather. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi. You guys need Bobby's picture or oh, good? I think uh, I'm okay. I, I'm okay. I We've done Bobby so many times, we know him by heart. Bill, do you want the picture? No, no, I'm okay. It's, it's imprinted in my mind. <laughs> I, <he is. laughs> Having his cute little face imprinted in your mind is nice. He's actually sleeping now. He's exhausted. I think he's got a toothache. He has more than that. I know, but he's got a toothache too. Remember that dog that attacked him? Yeah. Um, just he nipped part of his like nose a little bit so just a small little hole in there and that's why he's like having allergies and stuff like that and like easier you know to run and stuff and there were some damages done to his jaw, jaws and teeth back then you know but overall he was good he lost a couple of tooth from that attack how is he eating is he eating good well he's not well he's not eating good he ate very little yesterday, and you know the last week when you guys healed her, him, he he actually didn't eat for much for a couple of days. That's why he was hungry. But after he got healing, he ate he ate a lot that day. But if he's having toothache, he may not really yeah. want to eat. I don't know if you have this problem when you're walking the dogs outside because it it gets dark early now for yeah. us over here. Yeah. But when but when when I walk him, he would regularly just just pause and look around like just pause like as if something is there but you know i can't see them whatever that's there outside and um, it is dark but you know sometimes he would refuse to walk i'm not even sure if anything happened to him when he was outside if he got implanted or because he's been throwing himself down literally like twitching agitated he has a rash he he, he scraped his you know, groin area, you know, outside the salt and everything like that. Uh, you know, it was heavily salted out there because we have a school nearby. So walking him out there in the winter is just a bad idea. But if he doesn't get walk, he's not happy. So, you know, we're going to get some snow the next couple of days. It has thawed out, but, you know, more snow coming. I don't see any implants. That's yeah. good then. Is it possible to heal the area, like the groin area, or I? He I've, been, I've been trying to do two things. Okay, yeah. yeah. He has a few things. So he he's like going like this all the time and he's crying and he's in pain and barking very loud. And sometimes he will be looking at something and he will, you know, get scared and stuff because there's always some beings coming around, you know? Maybe ones he's not too familiar with. Well, the tooth, his problem is the tooth is infected and it's, and it's infected going down, draining it into his stomach so when that happens it's in his bloodstream so we, that's why we're you, you gotta, we, we've got to do this healing first okay okay fair enough 
the same thing as if a human had an abscess tooth that was draining. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to see him resting right now and when not agitated at all. All I see apart from the toothache is the biggest problem. I can't see how well. Agree. Yeah. Last, yeah, last night he, um, I, I checked him and he, you know, made his groin area red, if you know what I mean, his pee pee, you know. <laughs> So, and he kept... Like, it, could be the, it could be the teeth infection. That going into his blood and in his system. But we've mm-hmm. done healing on it. So yeah. It's in his bloodstream, in other words, it's like an infection. So we've done healing, so... So that should, it, that should help, help relieve the... Yes. Take a little time. Yeah, give it give it a, at least a day and a half. Mm-hmm. Let's like, work through. How's he drinking? He's, He's drinking. drinking. He's drinking. Yeah, that's that's good. good. He's not eating that much, and yesterday he didn't really eat much at all. Um, but when he's hungry, he, like like last week, when he said he was hungry, I, I fed him before Zoom and I gave him food immediately after. And he ate, and that day he ate so much because he was so starving. It will probably be a couple of days before he has the appetite to eat again. Like Maybe within 24 hours. Yeah, hopefully earlier, but yeah. Manifest it early. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, don't manifest a delay of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't able to sleep the whole night because he's so distressed. He's barking. It wasn't just yes, like the whole night. This, what was he barking at? He's agitated. He's in pain, and he keep going like this. You know, like like you know, you know, his in a sitting position and going like this and throwing himself getting into almost like seizure reaction. He's reacting to it. He's like an allergic reaction, throwing himself all over and, you know, very distressed, very, very distressed. And it was like this nonstop for the whole night and, you know, part part of the day yesterday. And it's the signs were showing, you know, for a couple of days, for a few days, little bits here and there, but it, it just got worse. It got so bad, like overnight. Yesterday, yeah. the card I got him was playfulness, chat with children, so he needs a bit of play. Yeah, so when he's I, distressed, why don't you play with him instead of just because uh, it might put his mind off a little bit? Well, he doesn't really play, but he did come to me and I did give him up hugs and kisses and you know, a few pet petting, hmm. but 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 not when he is in that position and that condition, like literally every moment, you understand. He was literally like throwing himself around, throwing himself on the floor. Uh, everywhere he everywhere he goes, he's like literally throwing himself and and going like this and you know in distress, barking and and you know I I, I don't know if something is messing with him or whether whether um, he just feels so uncomfortable and he's in pain, a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort. Because what made it worse is when I did, did you try healing. I did. I did try healing, but it, it gets him calmed down. Only but what did you actually do? All I did was because I didn't. I didn't think about the, the the jaw area. I was more focused on what he was having problem with down there. So maybe you know I helped heal down there, but didn't do up there. You know, I mean the jaw area because when I looked at him, I checked him, and you know his pee pee has a rash on it because he keeps scraping himself like outside the pavement and stuff and there's salt on it and there's chemicals in it. We don't use um, the ones that my brother, my dad bought. They're not pure salt. They have chemicals in it. And so, you know, I, I assumed that there was something going on with that area because of the, you know, the salt. But I may have healed that area, but it's still all, itchy. All, all you have to do is put your hands to his head, take out any unwanted energies and bring it into yourself and then ground it yeah okay instead of directing one area just do the head because then the nervous system tracks into where any unwanted energies are and just take it off him. yeah i knew that he had you know his jaw issues um but that time because i didn't think at that time he's not eating because of his jaw i would he was so distressed from the bottom part of him that he just I mean, he, at least to me, he was showing how much he hated it. Because even if he wasn't doing that, he was still eating, like, uh, you know, uh, the day before. He was still eating a good amount. 
it's just yesterday it just picked up with all that all that pain that went downward from like you said from the the the, the abscess or whatever you call that but yeah i will i will try to heal him that way because you know me i don't know how to heal properly we'll see how yeah, he does three hours day. yeah three yeah uh, did you give him a card already? Yeah, I said it was children. He needs a bit children. of play. But I'll give you another one. You, you say stop. Oh, okay. Um, stop, please. <laughs> this is for you. Trust. Mm. <laughs> Wait one sec. I've got to, I've got to admit. Yeah, tr trust. So you just trust that everything's fine. I, I think that's what it's basically saying. <laughs> I have learned a lot these last few months and learning to trust and surrender and that's mm. more more important than other things if you know what i mean but let them pass lessons go yeah. and I, I do think don't don't look at the worst scenario you do look at the worst scenario with everything and that can start manifesting the worst scenario anyway yeah when i take my dog out i'm not bothered <laughs> I'm a very not, not I'm not a nice pet. Actually, <laughs> actually, when you take your dogs out, does your dog like just he just stops? He just stops. Mm. He, dogs he, do. He, dogs do. No, no. Uh, as either wanders off or stops because he can see some. He can see spirits. He can see all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be bad. Doesn't have mm -hmm. to be bad what he's seeing. He, he just he, sees more. He just see more than us. Because what's interesting is before all all those things happened, all the bad things happened in this last couple of years, he used to just take me to the park, take me anywhere he wants. He, he doesn't stop. He decides where he goes and I let him take me. But ever since the attacks happened, he keep going zigzag, literally. He walk up and then go somewhere else. He sees something and then, because he was literally attacked in his own neighborhood, like in mm. different places. And uh, so you, for you, him, you're carrying the past there. Yeah. Uh, that car yeah. just said, don't do that. <laughs> and but, you just think, you just yeah. think, so explaining. So don't yeah. look at the past problem. I won't look at that in that yeah. sense. But um, but what I'm saying is he, he, he built up a pattern, Bobby. Yeah. And, okay. and so I trust, I trust he knows where to take me, if you know what I mean. But that's what happened. Um, that's basically how he walks these days. Just zigzagging, like literally, one, you're going down the block, he could be going back and forth just because he wants to avoid something. And I don't know what he's Oh, doing. Oh, he just wants to walk like that. Oh. You, you're manifesting what you think he does. You don't quite know, yeah? So look at the positive side. He just likes to walk zigzag. <laughs> <laughs> he has never done that before. He's really a straightforward guy. Mm. <laughs> if you know thank, what I mean. thank you, Victoria. We can thank you. Back to time. Deb, can I just cut off for 30 seconds? I've just got to let the dog out. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Unless I'm clearing up after it. Who let the dog out? <laughs> <laughs> I knew Frankie would do that. Yeah. You're on mute. You're on mute, Frankie. We can. <laughs> I can see you. I love it. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> Hi. Um. <laughs> Good to be here. Yeah. Thank you. We haven't seen you in a while. I've been busy with hurricanes over here in Florida. <laughs> uh, we're going to be in Florida. Next week. Oh, really? When? Next week. Oh, my gosh. What part? I, I'm in uh, Port Orange, guys. Jacksonville. That's like two and a half hours away. I would love to come by and just give you a hug. I'm by. Baby. I'm by. Jeez. Oh my gosh. We in an Airbnb. Um, uh, I'll, right. I'll uh, send me a private message on Facebook with your number. I'll give you mine. I actually okay. have a Florida phone number. Oh really? That's awesome. Yeah. We. My. He's a Florida boy. Oh, I had. Well, I should have known better. <laughs> <laughs> All of our kids and grandkids. Okay. My my uh, the boys and our grandkids live there. Oh, how beautiful! It's uh the last couple of days have been freezing. Believe it or not, freezing in our it's really not freezing. It's great. <laughs> it's um it's brisk. Fifty three degrees here in Phoenix. Oh wow! It gets that cold in Phoenix. I never knew that. that. Gets down to the thirties too. We have snow and Sedona's all all white. Oh, wow. yeah. I uh um we have the hurricanes and just you know. Just yeah, I, doing the mission. Honey, honey, we know. <laughs> I know. Thank you. I love you. We got you. married oh, in Florida. We got married in Florida 41 years ago. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's amazing. 
that's amazing. I, I, I mean, I love it here. It's just, it's very peaceful, especially being next to the ocean. There's something about being next to the ocean just um, really just aligns you instantly, you know? Yeah, well, we got a long haul to get there. <laughs> yeah. You do? Well, Deb, when, when are you planning on coming in? Um, and that way I'll make sure that I put it on my account. Or we'll private message. Well, private message. yes. Yeah. Next, next Friday. Yeah, I'll show you myself. Hopefully we'll get there by Friday because we're leaving Wednesday. Oh, okay. Cool. Perfect. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I would love to, I would love to see you guys. Great. I would love that. That'd be a, a great Christmas gift for me because I'm pretty much solo. <laughs> You know, everybody's my everybody's doing their own thing, but uh, I'll be meditating most likely <laughs> in my own little world. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll be there for two weeks. Yeah, that's wonderful. Cool, plenty of time then. I'm honored. Thank you. Sure. Lily, Lily is she doing it today? Yeah. We're ready for the next one, Lily. Sorry, everybody. Did that was that a planned wedding, by the way, or were you just having a few drinks? <laughs> Fifty-one years ago. For uh, 40. forty-one. Yeah. Oh, it was. Oh, yeah, it, was. It, it was a fun wedding. Yeah. yeah. Was it planned? <laughs> Are they ever? <laughs> I see if I did drink at our wedding. Yeah. You're in the hospital too. I actually ended up in the emergency room. That was a good wedding then. <laughs> <laughs> a honeymoon to remember. Oh yeah. And my nurse was a guy from Scotland. His name was Scotty. <laughs> Beat me up, Scotty. Scotty from Scotland. <laughs> yeah, I overdosed on powdered, you know those those powdered aspirin? And I didn't realize I was allergic. I kept taking them because I, I had a headache. Oh, yeah. wow. I, I had, my boys were little, my three boys, and one of them kept getting into everything. I kept saying, stay clean, because I had to get myself ready. Got the boys ready, and the little ties, and, the little, and Michael kept taking off. My youngest, Michael, who now has eight children. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And he started a fire. That was the day he got. He started a fire across the street in a field on my our wedding day. It was just. I mean, it was a day to remember. We could we could write a book on. <laughs> what? He should. On the he should. I'm sure. We have four. They were four boys. Monsters. They were. <laughs> Monsters. <laughs> How we survived. <laughs> yeah. They they are not easier. I don't know what anybody's saying. <laughs> That, but, uh, <laughs> they were terrors. Yeah. <laughs> Lily, Lily, who's up next? Yes. Uh, actually, it's not about. Uh, I am next, but I. It's not about the uh, my pet. It's about the was I have in the room. Oh. Um, we'll yeah. Oh, we we'll do the pets first, then we'll do you. Okay. Then we have Susan for Shanti. Susan. I, did, I was just going to say, it depends on other was pets. <laughs> yeah, and you have another kind of pet that's not of this world, I'm sure. Yeah. Yes. So should I, let's see, can I share my screen to show you the picture? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will do that right Everybody now. has share capabilities. I've turned it on. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is Shanti. Oh. Uh, we've met Shanti before. Yeah, I have another, another one up. Wait, where is it? Here. Eyes there. open there. That's a better one. Yeah. With his eyes open. Yeah, this is from a few years ago. He's just been throwing up lately. Like yesterday, he kind of had like a projectile vomiting moment. But he's been just like just kind of sleeping a lot, kind of going off by himself to nap and just doesn't have the vitality, you know, or energy sometimes. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't, I guess. But it just seems like maybe something's going on with him throwing up and everything. That's... Is he keeping anything down? It yes. Like... Yeah. He he eats just fine. Um, no, is it staying down though? If he's vomiting, um, it is staying down, and you know, so it hasn't been like all the time. So he's not like in dire straits, I wouldn't say. But I'm just wondering, just if yeah, if his kidneys. I mean, I've had I've had cats. Um, yeah, with kidney disease, with diabetes, I've kind of gone through, and cancer, I've gone through the gamut with cats. But, um, so he doesn't seem like terribly, you know, like ill or anything. Um, oh. But just just not quite himself or what I would know of him. So, and he was originally like the neighborhood tomcat who adopted me. Um, and so I don't know his exact age. How old is he, Susan? 
I, I don't I don't know because he yeah. showed up showed up on my doorstep one day and wouldn't leave for two weeks and eventually I let him in to my life and got him defleed and dewormed and fixed and everything but he was like a neighborhood tomcat but I think my neighbor um, I had a friend who was a um, animal communicator at the time who yeah th- th- he basically got abandoned I think it was the house two doors down from me that I think was like a single bachelor guy who, seven, who retired seven or eight years old I don't think he's old oh I would have thought he was older because I mean for you for probably about eight years I saw a orange cat like roaming around my woods but he would never come close to me um or come up to me or anything and and then he showed up I want to say how old was he I want to say like 2016 yeah probably like six years ago he showed up but he could have been young he could have been yeah different from I think he's a kitten of the one that you saw I don't think he's Oh, that could I be. I think he's from a litter. Like, a, a, yeah. Yeah, he could have been, yeah, like a year and a half he's, or whatever. This, this, this year is old. what I'm being told that he's like seven or eight years old. And about, I would say, I want to say more, almost eight. He's not quite eight years old. Okay. Well, that's yeah. good. Um, they're telling me April. April, he'll be eight. Yeah. I'm getting, just, I'm getting, what? I'm yes, getting no. some, some at link attached to him. I'm not sure what? where he is. I think he's attached to it. Is he drained a lot lately? Yes. Yeah, he just seems like he's sleeping a lot. Yeah, like not uh, as energetic. Have a look at his left eye. To his right. What was that? His left eye is saying something, speaking to me. <laughs> oh, okay. Like yeah, that. I've actually had an eye scan where you can see your like ancestors around your iris. I, I had somebody do a scan uh, of I, I, I don't want mine in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but they did, took like close-up pictures of my eyes and you can actually like see faces like around your iris it's it's sometimes, it, sometimes somebody slips. sees faces in your eyes you've got people inside you no yeah. she had a certain like it was she was like the first one in my state that did this type of scanning but it was like you know she had whole technology whole methodology around this type of thing but it's um yeah, like ancestral influences or things that can be oh, in, in your okay. eyes. Like, influences. Well, yeah, me, not like can, living in no, you. I, but... I actually can see people in, in, inside the, like I've seen people inside people's eyes. Oh, that's, yeah, I suppose, yeah, if they're attached. No, this is like just something that naturally occurs like in in your eyeballs, I guess, where you can see like, yeah, it's like, you know, like see ancestor faces or influences or something like around the eye and there's a whole methodology around this woman who did it to me at like a holistic expo and she said she was the first one in the state certified to do this and i'm like okay you know um it was pretty interesting so so do you want a scan scanner and it's either an implant or attachment like that i'm just getting the message this summit stealing energy oh yeah scan you mean for him yeah yeah yeah, scan. Scan what, what's him, his, please. What's his name? Uh, Shanti? Shanti. Shanti. Boy. Shanti a girl's name. What was that? Shanti's oh, a Shanti. girl's name. It, Shanti is well, a girl. It, well, he's a boy. <laughs> well, he's he's the one that told me his name. When I first brought him in, I thought he was a female. And I separated him from my other two cats at the time. I had two other cats that have since passed. Um, and kept him in my sunroom and I heard the name Sherry in my head and when I first brought him in and then the next morning I noticed he was a fully intact tomcat <laughs> and he had ta- had tapeworm on his behind so anyway so I in my head telepathic I was like well what you know so what's your real name and I got the name Shawnee like the Native American tribe and the name Shanti and then like within 15 minutes later I was just looking online at like articles about feral cats or you know things like that and i came across an article that was about this woman that started like a feral cat you know sanctuary basically and it was the sanctuary was called shanti something and she started it for her daughter shawnee so i saw both names in an article like within 15 minutes of getting their the names in my head so i'm like but i just felt drawn to shanti shanti which means yeah peace and tranquility in sanskrit which he is not always 
he's <laughs> <one cradle. laughs> so it's kind of a funny name but he is definitely a lover boy and i have two girl cats as well and they both love him and he he gets along with them most time um gets a little rambunctious playful with them but he's pretty he's pretty gentle with them and and stuff so two girls are a little jealous of each other but but they still get along pretty well is it an artificial attachment draining him phil i'm, I'm trying to locate because it feels like it's it's a manufactured attachment it's not like it's like something from that's draining it's electronic in other words they know me ah, yeah, they know maybe me something ah. within my house no 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 no, no not an, atta- an attachment somebody it's that. somebody else it's 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 taking from him, but it, they're manipulating it, taking his energy, manipulating it for their use without having to be inside him. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's yeah. Not, it's S- not sometimes, like sometimes it's even going for you, but going for your pet, if you get what I mean. By making your pet drained and worried, it's really going for you because then you worry about your pet. Yeah. It's a bit like children and pets, they always go for the one, your loved ones around. Yeah, I mean, I try to affirm and visualize you know and and i should be sending healing more myself but i try to you know just state that they're healthy and you know have health and vitality i do that for myself too but i um yeah so i try not to go into fear or worry about it but i just thought since you're having the healing session today i'd, I'd see if what you guys are getting i think that's gone now <sighs> my pet's gone you know, my spiritual time <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't feel it anymore. I don't see it anymore either. Yeah, that's what was draining. Yeah, well, I call him my sunshine boy because yeah, he feels like he's got golden light energy. I mean, not just his color, but yeah, 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 it's a lot of love. And um, yeah, my the gray one I had on the screen earlier, Emmy. I think Deb, you said that I had a dolphin lifetime with her, and yeah, and somebody else told me that she has Merlin energy around her. My gray one. But she's 18 and like perfectly healthy and yeah, I've been very lucky with her. But she had a tooth infection when I first got her like four years ago and but it cleared up and she hasn't gotten it back, thankfully. But her jaw was like swollen and I was really worried about her. But so and um, yeah, I might have some helpful stuff to send you about kidney disease because I I kept my one of my cats alive for like an extra five months by like healthy supplements and things. Um, or if you want to uh, explore any of that, so I, 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 I did assisted. I did. I did assisted feeding through a syringe. Yeah. Um, I mm-hmm. did intravenous fluids. I did. We've been, we did the. I. That's what we're doing. Now. We're doing popping pill. Popping like we, pills we did, that are those, health we supplements. Did the IV fluids. It worked for about a week. And then all of a sudden, it started coming right out of her again. It's not even staying in her. It's just pouring right out of her. Okay. Have you tried assisted feeding? Yeah. Yeah. She's okay. Been right. It's, that's when she started like hanging yeah. down again. Like because I because I mixed it with um, like pumpkin puree, which I I mean I learned all this online, but I mixed it up in like a Nutri Bullet with pumpkin puree, like canned cat food, and I put some supplements that help with kidney disease that are natural like supplements that help with kidney function, like mixed it into it and then yeah, fed her through a syringe like what, four times a day, five times a day <laughs> for like five months. <laughs> but they thought she'd be gone within the first month and she lasted like five months. But but yeah, I, I had to yeah, yeah feed her through a syringe. Yeah, it's not gonna, yeah, it's, it's it, not it's not easy to, it, to do. But they would never they would they could never keep it up because neither neither one of them are going to be home. They work all day long, and different shifts. And oh, so it's not your one of your cats. It's not. It's my granddaughter's cats. Oh. We're supposed to bring them home to them in, in yeah. Florida next week. Next it, Wednesday. Okay. That's that's why I said if we can't heal her enough for that she could be a normal cat, I have to put her down. That they, yeah. they won't be able to take care of her. I know when I eventually put that cat down that. Like I once I got in my car, like I heard her talking to me, saying, "I'm free, I'm free." You know, she was so happy to be free of her 
body that was yeah. causing her so much pain and and then I kind of saw her shadow a little bit for a couple days afterwards but yeah we, just letting me know that our, yeah yeah she was happy to be free and we just, of we just her lost body. three cats this year we lost three of our cats yeah. I lost I lost two cats in one year yeah in 2018 my diabetic one in January and then I then I had another one that I wasn't expecting who had unexpected cancer and she she left on her own in the ICU just died like yeah. the day after I brought her in had no and they couldn't find cancer in her body until they autopsied her after yeah it, yeah, it was it didn't show up on a CT scan nothing but yeah you just don't know yeah so yeah, and then Shanti was the only one left and then I got end up getting the other two over time but yeah yeah, yeah. Our, ours were 14 18 and 20. wow right. yeah so they lived a good life yeah and she's like she's like the, the our well she was 15 and really fifi was like uh this one is just like fifi they're runs they run to the litter and they both went into kidney failure they both fifi yeah. went into kidney failure and this one's a runt and yeah the, the tiny ones uh, for some reason they don't live as long as the other one they, they don't have that long lifespan yeah, actually, my brother and sister have three cats, and they're the one that's like a run to the litter has some has some weird health condition where she just kind of looks a little sickly all the time. Um, but she's yeah, she's still kicking. But yeah, but she's had she's been yeah the one stricken with just like a, yeah an unhealthy constitution or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill, do you want to give a card? Yeah, I did get forgiveness, but go ahead, eat it, tell us what. Yeah. Okay, so when, what? Is that when? I yeah. said what, when, yeah. Well, you changed the angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's waiting for one thing and you did another. Yeah. Healing. Oh, it says healing? Cool. You, you need to go to someone who's a good healer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, well, yes, and I'm, I'm technically a Reiki healer too. So, and I should, you know, should be remembering to give them healing too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so some, 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 that healing, sometimes stop focusing on a problem, let healing commence. So yeah. So otherwise, you didn't see any, like anything with him health wise. I mean, I, I mean, just saw some taking his energy. Just that's it. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, other and, uh, other than the throw up, you know, yesterday, you know, just like it's just occasionally. But yeah, just yeah, just going off by himself and kind of just not yeah, not having the vivaciousness he usually. When, yes. when they throw up, sometimes they eat too fast or they don't chew it. Sometimes it's yeah. like whole food, and you're like, yeah, okay. I didn't, I didn't see Such any a... fur, fur in it, and this... yeah, yeah, and then you know, if they have fur in it, I figure it's a hairball or whatever. Yes. But I give them, I give them treats that help, yeah, help with that. But so, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, Matt, the being that I use three implants, so he said they don't taste nice as well. <laughs> he prefers the other type. <laughs> so, if you get what I mean. Oh, the one that you, or what you removed? Yeah, he, he took it out, he said it didn't taste nice. It's a bit, it's part AI and part uh, non-AI. Okay. So yeah. Like a manufacturer. Yeah. So you sent him away. All right. Yeah. You know, he ate it. 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 He also throw up, they also throw up the cats when you feed them too much. Yeah. Yeah. Eat too much. I give them canned canned food, but also I leave dry food out all day, like some really good high quality stuff. Um, but then I I about three times a day I give them all some cat food mixed with a little bit of water so that they get a little extra moisture because it's dry in the winter. But yeah, and uh, and you're supposed to do that because it, if they don't drink enough, you're supposed to give them some wet food. Yeah, well, a couple of them I see drinking, but the third one I'm not sure about it. i don't see her drinking as we much, started so. giving the cats uh distilled water because there's so much iron and there's so much uh fluoride and other well, stuff have, yeah i have well water and so it goes through like a sediment filtration and then it goes through like a reverse osmosis and uh but i need to change the filter in the reverse osmosis yeah. so i i do it i've been filtering drinking water through like a brita filter in my fridge <laughs> like a pitcher um and so that's what that's what i get give them for water so it's been yeah, at least yeah I, buy, I actually times buy and... distilled water and give them because we had one of the, the boys could get the, the, the crystallized urine and, oh, and uh, it helps it, with that okay it, they haven't had any problems since we still we started giving them the, the distilled water okay 
And they were putting right. them on that diet, you know, that really expensive food, and they were throwing that up. I was like, this is yeah. not working. Hmm. And that they haven't had any problems. Yeah, I haven't had any, I don't think I've had the crystals in the urine with any of my cats, or maybe one, one cat a long time ago, maybe once, but yeah, I mean, but then I haven't, I haven't brought them into the vet since COVID, since the yeah. C, the, the V happened. Um, yeah, and they've all been, yeah, basically healthy. So Is that, I mean, is that reptilians from the 1980s, would it? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I know what you mean. Yes. I, we have a holistic vet across the street and yeah, you know, she knows I don't believe in the vaccines, the vaccinations and all that. None of my cats have been vaccinated and they last. Uh, I used to, I used to do it though, like other, my older cats, but my, I think the three, I think the ones I have now, I don't think none of them have been vaccinated by me unless they were prior, you know, prior to me. So, and they've all, yeah, been amazingly healthy. Like my 18 year old, the gray one, like Emmy, she's. I'm just amazed that she's acts as young as the other two who are, yeah. So Shanti's younger than I expected. And my other girl cat, who's a, like a black and white tuxedo, she's, uh, I think about 12 now, 10, yeah, about 12. I think I got her when she was 10, so. Yeah, well, I always look at the age of the R isn't the age of the R because sometimes our brain programs them differently. Yeah. So that eight-year-old could be 20, but still be an eight-year-old. I mean, I mean, the way I, I was healing this when I was dying, I reprogrammed the brain to an eight-year-old, and they had another few years. <laughs> so, All right. Uh, there's ways around it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank it, you. It, thank you. It's, it's a bit like when yes. you've got a car and you reverse the miles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck with Maxine. I'll send thank some he healing to her, too. And Thank you. But, um, yeah, if I can find some, I don't know, it's something that could be simple to help her life you know i'll send it your way thanks okay. thank you okay the next one we have actually linda she's asking for her friend cheryl who is this the one her? where is this the one where i've got to share yeah. the picture yeah yeah I've got the picture do you want me to chester. share it mm, okay chester that, can you see that yes yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's the dog between really linda isn't it? yeah L linda is it the dog Yes, it is. First thing I'm getting is his heart. How old is it? How old? 12, I believe she said. Yeah. yeah, he is 12. That's what I'm getting. His heart is affecting his blood pressure and everything. So we need to get the heart repaired. <coughs> it's affecting his circulatory system. I'm also getting his digestive system. Right? Yeah. <coughs> so I stop screen show. Yeah. So his healing was his heart, his respiratory system, his, he, he did his stomach. His, I did his stomach. He, I, um, I his, think also was. his, um, his, his ears, his sinuses and his ears. It's pretty old though, for like a side dog. Yeah. He should feel a lot better though. Thank you very much. I'll share that with Cheryl. So he's dying of lymphoma and not eating due to bad teeth. And, Thank you very much. You're welcome, you a, Linda. Do you want a card for him, Linda? You want a card for him? You want a card? You want a card for him? Sure, yes. Thank you. Stay I stopped. wish I knew you guys when I lost my two cats to get them lost year. They reincarnate. Get a new one. <laughs> you want to say stop? Say stop, Linda. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, my lady is just going. Yeah. I've got uh, nature. So he probably wants to be more with the nature, but I think most dogs do. <laughs> yeah, I think mine would want that 24-7. Uh, just in the trees and woodlands, a bit of grounding, I think. Cheryl's always out talking to the trees and the elements. And... <laughs> the, the dog wants to as well. She listens really closely and, and trusts the messages she gets. They talk back. Oh, she knows. Yeah, she's, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll share Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would like to ask Marie, would you like to 
ask for healing for your cat because the next one will be humans. Yes. Wait. Am I there? Yes. Okay. okay. Like I can't see me. So hi, it's actually my first time here. My friend uh, recommended you. Well. <laughs> okay. So I guess I guess he came in. <laughs> so this is the uh, this is Kelly. I've had him for six years along with his sister, and he always had uh, digestive issues, but ultrasounds and blood tests and x-rays cannot figure out why. If we could see his face, his eyes, it would be great. Uh, it was, my face That's all right, just, just, just point it at him and let's see if he cooperates. Hi, Kelly. Hi. There we go. Hi, baby. Hi. He's, he's kind of mostly interested in going outside right now. He's kind of mad that he hasn't been for a few days. So I've been doing snow removal, so I haven't been able to let him out. We have to see their, his eyes and scan him so that we can do to figure out what's going on with him. That's his eye? Yeah, that's him. Kelly? Kelly? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Stay here for a second. Just for a minute. Just for a minute. Okay. Ugh. All right, I got I got him. I don't know if Phil, did you have him long enough? I, I've got him too. Okay, he has something in his throat, Phil, and I think it is. Um, again, it's not it's not an attachment. It's an implant of some sort. Okay. This this one is not to take his energy. It's actually to harm him. Okay. It affects his throat. It's connected to his throat. Deliberate. It wouldn't surprise me. He's always been a very different cat. There's also in his left paw there's a there's a tracker oh this uh it's to track him so that they can implant him again oh, that's nice <laughs> oh let me look in your house you have a portal in a closet in your hallway you have a closet in your hallway i have two closets there's this one it's and a, there's um, there's this one it's the only two closets i have it's is there one on the other side of that one uh, no, that would be the uh, washer and dryer. Unless there's like food here, and then we get here. That, there's a portal there. Oh, right above it. it. It's, a, it's, it's a, right above in the ceiling. Huh. Just, doesn't matter if you can see it or not. I, it's just, I, I, it's a portal that. Is it a portal to a good place? No, it's not. Oh. Have you got any streams nearby, or have you ever done any spiritual work, or? You know, uh, well, I, 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 I do work with a, an energy healer, but I do have a protocol that's supposed to close all portals and spaces and stuff like that. But when I moved into this apartment, there was already a lot of negative energies and entities, and I've done a lot of clearing work throughout the years. But yeah, I'm not surprised that things show up every now and then. It, it does feel like that. Feels like, feels like a bit of black magic, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people have died in this place. It's some kind of serpent energy. It's a serpent. Okay. It's um. Am I going for a ride then? <laughs> I. It's um. Is that where the serpents are? Is it from the underworld? The dark side. Yeah, that's a pretty dark serpent. <laughs> some uh, some rituals being done in that in the history. I'm sorry. Some uh, rituals being done there. Yeah. We wrote yeah. It's not, I don't feel as much on the outside, but any minute someone can come in. Um, I don't think I need to battle really, because it's not their fault someone goes from this. I'll just peep in to see, yeah, it's very dark. You might feel this energy, by the way, Marie. Sorry? You might feel the energy change. Okay, well, I feel something in my back. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm back to the space. Yeah, it's one of them, because it's that dark, the portal, we're clearing everything and it might just clear something out of you as well. The cat just said to me, I've been trying to tell her about this for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's sometimes he just sits and stares at me and I know he wants to say something, but I don't I don't hear it. <laughs> he <just said> that. <laughs> the goddamn human, they never get anything. <laughs> <laughs> he said, the Calvary is finally here. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't got any rivers or streams or wells nearby, have you? Ribbon or strings for wealth? River or streams, streams. or wells. River, streams, wells. Oh wells. yeah, there's a well. there's uh there's a river a few streets down and it's quite yeah, nasty. Okay. Right. It's got a nickname the uh, the garbage river because companies keep throwing all their garbage in there. Oh perfect yeah. for this per perfect for the serpent. Yeah. And that, that can actually block ley lines as well. 
Okay. And funny things, I've been looking to move, but I can't seem to up my revenue so that I can get a better apartment. Like, I always feel like I'm stuck at like a survival level since I lived here. Archangel Michael just said that will change after today. Yes. <laughs> oh, I got goosebumps all over my body. <laughs> That's funny because the cat is like the mostly uninterested person in the process right now. <laughs> He's just like, nope. You might feel feel a lot of energy in there now. <laughs> yeah, that might be why he's a bit agitated. Is there any more portals, uh, Dad? That one's closed, then. There's one outside. Outside. The getaway one. There's a tree, um, like an oak tree. I got plenty of trees. I got, there's this one tree in front. There's two trees. No, and then I got, we have, we have a, back, back in the back. No, we have a bunch of trees in the yard. It's like but, a, oh, is there one that uh, looks like it's almost dead? Oh, there's one that we did put down last year. That's got a. That's kind of the yard. It's in your yard. Oh, well, that would be. There's a bunch on the sides, but it's mostly like uh, I don't know what kind of tree it is. Even if you took it down, it could still still be there. Yeah, because I know the owner. I know the owner took down some trees before I got here. Is there a stump? Nope. I think he took everything away. Okay. Apart from the portal. (laughs) No, the port. There's. Is it a serpent portal again? Oh yeah. Uh, (laughs) Oh yeah. (laughs) In there's one in the backyard. There's a portal in the backyard, but there was. They show me there was a tree there. Okay. So uh, the tree is gone. The portal's still there. Okay. Like, who are these serpent people? I have no idea. No? I don't know them personally. <laughs> <laughs> I just see what they look like. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's connected to the dark side of the other room. Okay, so in, where, it was in the corner of the yard, so from the corner of the backyard. You have a fence yard there, so from the yeah. corner of the backyard, the portal's like in the middle of the yard. Okay. So there like it's go. X marked the spots right in the middle of the backyard. Okay. Yeah. There was being, a tree. There was a tree. There was a tree that, like, somewhere, like, from that corner, like, you have this kind of a squarish backyard. Yeah. So, from the, there was a tree over here. Okay. I think that they're showing me that it's right in the middle. Okay. Is where the portal was. Is. Okay. It will, it will be a was. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're out, the house has been blessed as well because there's some dark magic in its history. So, it's been cleansed, cleared. I know you've tried to clear it, but it's been that dark. It would be very difficult to clear. So I've had to call in a team to, to help me on it. Huh. Yeah. But they're the ones who opened the portal to the other world. So God knows what we were doing. <laughs> yeah. Probably a, a drink and a mess about. That's what we Okay. You feel out there. Yeah, some angels were around the house and we had staffs and we were bringing in the 12th dimension, 22nd dimension. 22nd chakra, Christ consciousness, planet and flattening right way, into your grounds, into underneath you, and everything. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so the tracker is oh. Let me see your kitty again. Bob's been out of work. So. Much better. Nothing in his throat. No more tracker on his foot. Yay. Mm-hmm. Oh. Better? Better, boy. He's so much better. Do you feel the energy shift? Yeah, I don't have that like oppression on my back anymore. Yeah, yeah, you, you had an implant and a tracker. I know it's just pets, but you might as well do the other one go. <laughs> <laughs> it's too serious to be honest. And even should. Marie, did you also have? Uh, we we we've got to call it a different name because we're on YouTube. But did you have the lollipop? It would be the um, y- you know the. When they oh close, no, I did not. They close. No. Okay. Nope. Right. Good. I don't even think I caught it as a virus. Right. <sighs> Feels clear to me. Cool. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. All, all we were doing was eating the cat in the end. We did sleep. That's how they done the world. At the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. These things change, don't they? So. Maybe. I say stop, and you can have a card. For you. Sorry, come again? But I say stop. If you have got an angelic card. oracle cards, he's gonna. He wants you to say stop, and he'll give you one. Okay, stop. Don't sound this related to the. Oh, he's after his soulmate outside. <laughs> My soulmate is outside. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Basically, what that means is it could be you. It could be uh, connecting to someone who's got the same sort of uh, uh, goals, if you get what I mean. Okay. Yeah, or it could be the cat. I'm not sure. <laughs> It could be him. He might make another friend. Yeah. He probably found one he wants to go outside. <laughs> well, he's he, like, I have him and his sister and she she's fine spending the winter inside, but he just gets like cabin fever. Mm. He's just not, I, I just don't think it wasn't in, it's not in his temperament. Because I was living in, in the, uh, a horse farm when I got them. So we were out and about from a young age and then summer is just hard. That uh, winter yeah. is hard. <laughs> <sighs> It should be well, better now, anyway. Yeah, you're all Thank set. You. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Lily? Okay, the next one. Jackie, you have a dog? She does. Chopper. Yeah, okay. Needs a healing. I, I do have Chopper. Um, He's just licking his paws. He's anxious. He's nervous. And I think this may be associated with his um, deafness, his recent recent deafness. Um, And I don't know that... There we go. I don't know that there's anything... It's the same old, same old. Nothing's <laughs> It's Chopper. Is that the white and black dog? Isn't it? Yes, the speckled ears. Yeah, I'm just going through my memory bank. <laughs> Very good. He's walked away. Right. Talking the father, sorry. Saying, saying, let him be. This is his age. We're all. When you lose your hearing at it, it, old age, I mean, what are you going to do? Learn sign language, which he is. Exactly right. <laughs> he's, he's also becoming very intuitive, but he always has He's, he's happy. Yeah. Just licks those paws, and I don't know if that's a nervous habit, but, you know, we've we've been down that road before. So. Yeah, well, I've done, Jackie. I've tried to alter his hearing problem in his blueprint. So if he get improved, let us know, because it's experimental for me. <laughs> oh, so, it's experimental. Yeah. Yeah, so I've, I've rubbed part of it out and I've put repair in his blueprint, so... Okay, uh, we'll see. I'm, that's, it's a new one to me today, Lap, so... Uh, I'm cheating a little bit, I just want to see if it works. On my puppy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, cheating know. By, by, using the, by using his blueprint and... I understand. ...doing the repair. Which I appreciate, and I, that is very good, and I thank you. Um, and I hope it does work. So do I, because he's such a doll. I mean, he's such a good boy. Oh, I know. But, you know, it, these energies are getting intense, and all of our pets are, are showing it. You know, it really is. It's true. They're feeling it just like we are. Now, this week has been crazy. It's been a bad, it's been a bad week. It's just been a bad week. Um, continues to recycle stuff that we haven't gotten rid of, that, and, and, the, and the energies are stronger and stronger. I mean, it, it it's just... I'm just watching some humans that I interact with and I'm going, oh my gosh, you people are, and I, I do blame part of it on the energies, but it's just like they're, well, it's, it's not they're blaming it. times, it's, 10 times. I, I see people and behaviors that I, I never thought I'd see on people I, you're driving. Around. I don't like even going to the store anymore. People are crazy. Driving is poor, uh, but I was just sitting in a meeting the other night and it was just like, what are you people talking about? This is irrational. Yeah, totally even irrational. spiritual people, you see, spiritual people the spiritual community people talking about each other Mm -mm. where's the love and light (laughs) do you know deb i've got a cousin's daughter 19 year old who's just got rheumatoid arthritis who's had the lollipop it just uh, but i was healing at the funeral so (laughs) another funeral i went to yesterday my ninth first year i know it's heartbreaking that's heartbreaking when they're so young yeah, but she felt a quiver, like a quaver go through the body when I was trying to get rid of it. I hate but that for her. That is very young. Yeah, and someone's really old and you know, and at least they've had a life, but a 19 yeah. year old, it's... Yeah, yeah. So so I, I took some of that, so I had a lot of pain to them. <laughs> yeah. It's not mine, it'll go, but uh, I, took, I only did it, OTD. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got a card. Yeah. Got a card cool. for Chopper. For Chopper, for Chopper. Yeah, I wonder if there's a cat that says he wants to walk in a park. <laughs> he wants more food. Oh my, oh, oh no, oh golly. Food is... Yeah. That's his life, he loves it. <laughs> he loves his food and it's... He does, and he enjoys it. He does. Just say stop. Oh, I'm sorry, stop. 
need to play some frequency music to it or sing but probably music probably better i happen to have multiple frequency discs of different different hertz yeah what hertz do you recommend 538 uh, 28 528 yeah that's like the art chakra i've got a I've probably got about 10 or 12 different ones, so I can just, I can, and they're right there where he stays all the time, so I can do that. Well, the lower you are, the lower the chakra, so the higher you are, the higher the chakra. So good okay. tuning to your chakra system, and dogs do have chakras. Yeah, I might put it on my Facebook. I've seen they do have chakras. chakras. I've, I've seen yeah. pictures of their chakras, and yeah. they also have um, meridians, pressure points. Mm. Yeah. And I was wondering about massaging his meridians, but I'm going to study up on those. See where they are. You could massage it while you're playing frequency music for that. Do that. It do that. And I also have, you know, the what is it? Four, not four forty, four thirty, four twenty-eight, four thirty-eight, four twenty-eight. Yeah, it's a bit like whichever one's the loved one. Sacral, isn't it? That's more like. Loved one's four thirty-eight, isn't it? Yeah. I think yeah, it's, it's like your sacral chakra. But don't quote me on that. <laughs> oh, they're, they're all they're all listed in there, so I've got those. And then I was just any message or a scan or anything I need. I'm still feeling just as low chi as I was last week. I sleep and I want to sleep all day. I want to sleep all night. Are you grounding yourself? That's from father. Are you grounding yourself? Are you getting outside in the sun? No. That says no. Yeah. And you're not no. getting out of your house. You're not getting. You're not getting grounding yourself or getting outside. You're just sitting in your in your misery pool. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. That's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Pass on Deb, okay. It's not from me. It's not from you. It's not from you. Um, That's from Father. You're I just did. Yeah, in, I was out. You're just sitting I, in your misery pool. You're not getting outside. I was outside. Know. I did go to the library a few minutes ago. Yes, but I did. But did you ground yourself and, and put your face in the sun and just sit for a few minutes? Just breathe. Just breathe. You don't have to sit forever and just do your breathing. Ground I do your that face. in the bed in the mornings and I connect to Father in the mornings. Okay, but touch a tree, just do the breathing. Touch okay. a tree. And really, truly, outside, do that. I know okay. I ground myself before I get, I get out of bed, too. Sometimes we need to go outside. Okay. And I think, outside. You know, I think that you, what you don't realize is when, when you talk to that your trees, that you open the portal, and that's yours. That's your I portal. That. That's your direct connection. And I do have a question. It is often cloudy here in the winter, but the sun, of course, is shining beyond those clouds. So if I'm still looking in the direction where this cloud should be, the sun should be, shouldn't it still be effective? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. It's just a layer oh, of yes. clouds. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the clouds, do that doesn't stop it. I do need to go outside. I do. I, I admit. You just need to connect to nature because you are so close to those trees and, the, and I mean, you even know their names. Oh, they're written down. Yes, I have them. I'm just, I'm in my little vortex. Mm -hmm. What you, what you, you could do as well, Jackie, you could play high frequency music, 2000 hertz, your higher chakras come in, energy comes in, and that'll probably relax you and then ground you afterwards, ground it after. I would have, I'll have to find some that the hurts that high. I yeah, I'm not sure if you that. can, but well, for it. But yeah, 2000, you're probably looking at uh, 15 to 20. 22 is Christ consciousness. So bring that sort of energy and it will lift. It will take your low density energies out. And by doing that, it will lift your vibration and you don't need as much sleep. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. We can do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's all I have. Good seeing you. Good to see you guys. I love you. Love you too. Love you both. Thank you. Love you. And Archangel Michael's behind you, but I'm not sure who he is. Oh, Archangel <laughs> Michael? Was that Archangel yeah. Michael? Yeah. Oh, was that really Archangel Michael? Gee, Jackie. I would like that. He's, yeah. he's, he's telling you he's there? Oh, why? Why would he tell you that, Jackie? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because he can't, Because I asked him to come this morning. There you go. I guess you. that means he's there. <laughs> I guess he answered right. your prayers. <laughs> because I actually, I need him to protect me a little bit right now. I've kind of got myself in a little bit of a precarious position. but anyway. <laughs> Well, he's I, there. He's right there. I just need that big blue sword, you know, just. He, he doesn't go without it. He's always got it. I need him. I need, so, yeah, that's okay. Good. That's good. That's very good. Okay. That's, uh, I can't think well, of anything How else. funny that you got Archangel Michael. 
No, I think it's lovely. I think have it's you, have lovely. you been talking about this today? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't. She always has Archangel Michael. She just doesn't realize it. He's always there with her. I've always, I've asked him to always be there and never leave to protect yeah. me. He's there. And to protect the household and everyone that, you know, I have this whole ritual, you know, whole thing that I go through. You've anyway, got him. You've got him. Jackie, do you want to do the ritual here so we can all do it? <laughs> so. Well, if you want to, I will, we'll just pull down the white light and we'll just put it around everybody. Okay. <laughs> And their cars, and as they travel, and anyone that they interact with, and as they, your children, as they, and the pets. What was the blue light, not the white light? I do the white. <laughs> you want me to do the blue light? You know, Michael's blue light. Well, Gabriel's Michael's white the blue light. light. And for some reason, he, I always ask him into one particular corner of the house. I'm not quite sure why I do that. I don't understand that. That's just where I probably. visualize him. Yeah, probably because one that's upper your corner. You, you, yeah, that's that's. You feel like he needs to protect from that corner. I don't know. I don't know. That's where he is. I mean, that's where I where I pull. And yeah, I'm glad to fine. have him. I, I love it. So, okay. Most yeah. excellent. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank we'll you just let you. him do his, we'll let Archangel Michael do his thing. And thank you, Phil, as well. You're welcome. And I will take a card if you will be so kind as to shuffle for one. I just did Michael. That was it. That was, was. Oh, that was a card. <laughs> that was Michael. Okay. You can have one again. Go on. Go ahead, Chief. Tell him. I don't want to be greedy. Oh, no, no. Go ahead, do it. Hey, stop. <laughs> stop. 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 Hopefully, you get Michael again. She said to stop. Did she say stop? Yes, she did. Yes, I did. You two yeah, are need... not You two are not just communicating. Children, you need to play more. You, you need, to be, to. need to be happy and open your inner child more. Get out and go on the swings. <laughs> Somersaults on the front lawn. <laughs> yeah. Have you got snow there now? Oh, no, 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 it's you warm here. So she's well. in Alabama. She'll, uh, she'll get his ice. It's you can't storm. snowball anyone, then, can you? Can't snowball. snowball, but I can go do somersaults in the sky. I have done that before, and I can go do that. Okay. And I don't mind doing that. Mm -hmm. So that's playful. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. All righty. Okay. Thanks, I'm signing okay. off. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Lily? Okay, we don't have any pets anymore, and I am next about my wasp. Okay, let's see what's going on. I have so much wasp the last two weeks, but when I meditated and sealed my room, it really stopped, stopped. And the last one was when I was like, I was dreaming, but then I felt it in my hand. And when I woke up, it was really a one wasp. I, it was there. What so was you, had a, you had a real wasp? Yeah, the last one, the last one. In the middle of winter? Yeah, like it appeared two weeks, two weeks constant, five, ten, fifteen pieces in my room. And I said, no, that's in winter. So I was wondering, what was that? But after I sealed in meditation, I sealed my room, it stopped. What did you do with the wasp? At first, like one week, I, I get them in a glass and I'm very, very uh, nice to them. Come, you go out there, you go out. After, after I got pissed off, I hit them with my slippers. I said, you are no longer welcome here. <laughs> I got pissed off. There are so many, like four pieces. And then I get this with this. Now you go out. Now you go out. And now they what's, are... the, what's the temperature outside? Um, That time was like zero. Zero. That doesn't make sense at all. Obviously. I but I have searched, my man searched everything. There's no hole, there's no, I don't know where they come from. Sounds like witchcraft to me. And mm. one time, one time I was reading and my, I'm reading down and in one blink, a wasp appeared on the floor. I said, um, did you just teleport it on my floor? <laughs> That's really my question. Because with one blink, there it is. I said, did it appear on my floor? Did it just come through? That was really my, I said, I think it comes through the floor. Because why did I see it and then... Have you seen that lady anymore? The one that... Um... No. A magic one. No, I don't. I will so never... A, a logic says you've got a, a wasp nest in you in a loft or somewhere. But yeah. we, think, we feel we know... Do you have an attic? Yeah. Have you checked in the attic to see if there's a wasp ne nest? Yeah, we have. We have checked. My husband and I, we go up there. We check. There's nothing. And there's no 
a hole, even a small hole from attic to here, nothing. Now I'll put a protection on your house and it's like an halo, but it sucks all the negative energy and sends it back to the owner. So if you are getting any black magic, mm -hmm. then uh, it goes back to the owner. Okay. Hold on. Some, there's a portal in the house. That, there's my a question the, is... It, there it, is a portal, but it, we closed all, all the portals in that place, but there is a portal. It's in the room you're in. Mm -hmm. That's where the portal is. It's in the floor. That is what I have thought. Because when I was walking, I step on a wasp and then I throw it and then something again brush on my feet. I said, moment, where are you coming from? Yeah. It's from the floor. It, it's in this room, yeah. The only thing I can see is it's some kind of AI that's controlling it right now. But they're trying to fool me. Why are they sending me wasps? They're just trying to annoy you right now. The portal keeps opening and closing. Yeah, I'm just messing with it. Sorry, Deb. But it's too much. I don't like it. Okay, we'll take care of it. You did do it. Thank you. Right. You have to check it, Deb. I'm not saying what I did. It was a bit not the right. <laughs> okay, it's gone. Thank you. Do you feel a difference? Yeah, I have goosebumps. <laughs> I have goosebumps. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit of black magic. So. They're so annoying. Last night I, I tried to use my this cotton buds. They are in the cotton buds. When I get it, it's in there. I said, What are you doing? <laughs> and then I get another one. When I look, there's another one. I said, That is yet. That, that is now a game. Why are the two pieces of my cotton buds? <laughs> I bought a new one. I throw that. <laughs> I throw the pack. I bought a new one. How, how did they come inside the cotton buds? I don't know. Remember, they're coming through 4G. So, you know, it's no carnival from 4 you know, it just appears that you can know, That was crazy. I, I'll be honest what I did, I created a portal where they were, whoever did the black magic, I created a high vibrational portal. And I said, I can leave this here if you, if you do a, a vibrate, if you connect to you again. So we, we did a bit of a contract mm -hmm. and I cancelled my portal. And who can be making this black magic? Yes, that's the same person, I think, isn't it? It, it's, it's the same person, but she's got someone else to help. Someone else her. doing it. It's not mm -hmm. her doing it. Actually, she posted something which, um, like for November, she posted something like, yeah, when somebody will not talk to you, then you put a candle in it and you call people, um, spirits in and put their full name on it because she knows my full name. Put my full name on a piece of paper back to back so it will be very effective like she's doing like that and say prayer for that say like rest in peace like that there's something like she was what did she do with it after or did she say again did she say what she did with the uh when she was creating the spell uh, sometimes they stick it in freezer and stuff like that yeah something like rest in peace something like that but i don't talk to her anymore the why <laughs> i don't need do i say stop and just another card mm -hmm. now stop Playfulness. Okay. Very similar to the uh, oh. children one, but playfulness basically. <sighs> Have fun on your journey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Have You're fun with the wasps. Thank you. <laughs> I don't like wasps. Uh, no. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Deb. Thank You're you. Welcome. Okay, now the next one we have Frankie. Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie's in the house. Frankie. Yeah, Frankie. Asking for body scan? Hi. Oh, yeah. There was a couple things. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I have my two dogs here, too. I was hoping you can check them out and then not scan them. And then um, if you don't mind scanning me, I have like a, my lower back has been hurting me the last couple of days. It's probably because of I work from home and I'm constantly sitting. But I do get out a lot in Mother Nature. Where's your a lot. Oh. Do you want me to show you my dogs? Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Candy, cherry. These are big dogs, if I remember. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can turn this around. Okay. This is Cherry. Hi, Cherry. Say hi. It's okay. Don't be shy. Cherry, it's okay. Shh. You see her? <laughs> Look at Mama. Look at Mama. I've been looking around That's for good. some food. <laughs> Look at me. I don't know why they don't like the phone. It's okay. I know she doesn't like to take pictures, like, at all. Look at mom. Hey, look at me. Can you look at mama? Look at my eyes. It's okay. Oh. 
the Gamomo. I do not that big yeah. post Hi. My face. Hi, Cherry. Hi. Hi. Hi, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. <laughs> now Candy wants to get in the action. And this is Candy. So, Candy, look at me. Come on. She's a little shy, too. She's the baby. Candy. Come on, Mama. <laughs> you get up. Look at Mama. Look right here. Can you see it? She's like, she took my bed. She took the bed <laughs> I told wanted. Me. She took they the bed. All she's worried about that she took the bed I wanted. Do you see that? You see that? She's in the they, bed I wanted. You know what it is? It's the conch. They fight over this conch all the time. They growl over it. But they like, I think that's their wolf in them. <laughs> see, like Candy goes up and kind of like is like, I'm going to get it. See, this is, how, uh, this is exactly how they operate. All day long, they entertain each other. It's, in, it's interesting. Let's see. Nothing is glaring out on either one of them. Cool. So content and out, yeah. Oh, right on. I worry. I, I just sometimes worry about Candy because she's the she's the one that's right here, the, the one that's kind of taunting Cherry or her sister. Yeah. yeah. Um, because she's the thinner one, but like, um, she's, she's very hyperactive, but I think it's because she's the, she has, she's a young soul, I feel, but, uh, she, but she's, um, very hyperactive. Like she just senses a lot, she feels a lot. They're healers, they're sisters, and they definitely, uh, are like one brain. They, but see, like she's been doing that a while, the last couple of days. She, she's like so sweet. She's like, all right, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they do that all the time. So they're good, huh? Yeah, yeah. I don't see that. Excellent. Yeah, right on. Good. So yeah, that's because the the mama love. <laughs> right on. That's all we're healing it. So you've been giving. <laughs> they're really good. <laughs> awesome. That makes me so happy. <laughs> okay. Now all right. Me. Let's see what's going on with you. <sighs> yeah. Put on you. you. Might feel the energy going into your bank. Okay. A little crowded inside there. Do you feel people inside of you? Mm. <laughs> Do I feel people you have, a, like, you have, you have somebody on your back. All right. <laughs> good. Uh, yeah, it's always good. You're carrying around extra weight. That's all I'm telling you. You got uh, dead people. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> Family members <laughs> or non? <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see, Henry. I am in Florida. God's Adkin. waiting room. Henry. Henry Adkins. And Drew Lassard. If two people that joined you. So um, how do I do this? Oh, that... no, no, that's that's we, we can send them home. But just take me a minute. Yeah, they they uh, grabbed onto you. They saw your light. It's like a false light. They they didn't know where to go. They kind of uh, yeah. Well, that's why you're feeling this pain. Okay, one's I was like on, one's on your lower back and one is in the middle back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that uh, your pain heaviness. is? Is that where your pain is? Yeah, heaviness like on my shoulder and then um, my lower back. I felt like it was like a rock. I'm like, come on now, let's move it. So I like do the purple flame in and out of my chakras and I'm, it'll go away and then it'll come back. I'm like, come on. Your shoulders. Mm. You have a big knot like here in the middle of like your spine. Oh, I, can't you. I can't see you. Oh, sorry. You're, you have a oh, there knot. we go. You have a knot in your neck, like at the top of your shoulder, like the middle. Like, from, do you sit down and look at your phone a lot? Yeah, and it's my, it's oh. uh, work from home on a computer, mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah, you have a knot there that we can, kind of like a bulging disc, but it looks more like a knot, like a muscle that needs to be massaged out. <laughs> yeah. You need an adjustment from a chiropractor, maybe? I just went yesterday. <laughs> did he adjust it? Yeah, well, he, he did, and he had a lot of cracks, but, um, but he told me to come back and, you know, a couple times a week. Yeah, it'll make it feel a lot better. I love chiropractors. I know. That was a great I adjustment. Need one. Uh, I need one. I'll, I'll send some energy there. Uh, my bit of work it out. You're sensing what? I'm sending some energy into it to try and pull it out. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so let's me take care of the two gentlemen. You might feel a bit warm in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, in my third eye, actually, right here, or in my head. I'm waking in your third eye a bit more. Thank you. <laughs> love you, brother. <laughs> Any help is always great. Well, it is because I'm using our, our vibration, which can do these sort of side effects. Okay, you may feel the adjustments in your back as they're releasing themselves and they're going to the light now. Well, have a great journey. <laughs> it's okay. 
Jesus and Mother Mary. Oh, okay. Okay, they're gone. Now let's repair the areas. Now you, you may feel some heat or vibration in your back now. Frankly, I'm bringing in iron chakras from the galactic, so you might get connected to your galactic aspect. I just think you're ready for that. Yeah, I, I had an interesting dream this morning. I was telling David about it. He said it was uh, sounded like the Anunnaki, but you know, some. And then we uh, did a meditation, and it was um, div- you know, divine divinity versus neutral neutrality. The dream was very interesting indeed because I actually saw a white light spaceship in front of me. Mm. And, well, sorry, uh, you're ready to connect, that's, that's what you're saying. What was that? You're ready to connect to your, your higher aspects mm. from uh, seven or eight or nine D. They're asking oh. if you are ready to connect. Oh, am I ready to connect? Yeah. Sure. I think, you are. I, I think you are. Yeah, I feel so, like I've done a lot of work on you. Yeah, well, they visited me in my dreams. She was tall and I don't know if she was my aspect or not, but uh, she said she was a part of the council, that she, she has clearance already. Cause I'm like, hey, do you want to join Master's Journey? <laughs> She's like, oh dear, uh-huh. I'm already, I already have clearance. I'm a part of the council. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> she had three um, bodyguards with her. They were like interesting. She had green eyes. And beautiful, beautiful. Um, she didn't show her face until after I was like looking at the spaceship in the sky because it was like the one that's here out front. And the and uh, they're not they're not spaceships; they're light ships. They're light ships. Thank you. <laughs> <I'm> so, <laughs> you don't I'm you don't like, even hear them. Just they don't make out. any sound. They just show up. It's amazing. I and then I was, in my dream, I was like, oh my gosh, look at it. We had one next to us when we were out in the desert. My son rented a house right on the edge of the desert. And all the, we were sitting, in the, in, it, it was my, a surprise birthday party for me. And we were sitting there and the kids were all in the house. It was, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. And the desert's pitch black at night. And all of a sudden, all we heard was a click of a light. And there was a ship right next to I me. Mean, I don't know how far away. Oh, yeah. It was pretty close. That's it. It was just there. <laughs> and, I, and I said, is anybody else seeing this? <laughs> it was Rick, me, and my son, Michael, and his wife. And, and they were like, uh-huh. Oh. And none of us thought to pick up our phones and record it. And I'm, uh. like, and I'm like, holy shit, holy shit. It's so fast, right? It does. It, it was just happens. there, and the lights were on. And I don't even know. It probably only happened in a few seconds. And all of a sudden... <laughs> It was like gone. No noise. <laughs> wow. Like wow. Gone. <laughs> and it was like that warp speed. It was like blink of an eye. Gone. No noise. Amazing. Yeah, this one was in my dream, but I, well, I was here out front of my house. I saw two white streams. But it was pure white. I was like, well, it's a gray sky, and that's the only white that I'm seeing in the sky. There's something up. So I stare at one of them and then it turns into an eye and then it just disappears. And in my dream, it was kind of the same thing. It was this woman. Well, I saw in the beginning, can I share the dream? Because it was it's something that I, I feel like maybe you guys can explain to me. Yeah, go. Cool. Okay. Because I've actually seen what you look like, what your aspect looks like. So you tell me. Let's see okay. what you say. Yeah. Okay. Well, when with the dream, it was interesting. Um, I was on my way to like kind of like a music uh, on the grass kind of scenario, but I was looking at a TV television. And um, when I was looking at the television, when I was you know waiting to go to the, the the music on the grass, I noticed this girl, and she was she was channeling. And but it seemed like there was demons that were kind of like, in, you know, coming in, you know, trying to mess with her. And I could tell in her eyes, like she was like, what? And I go, all right. Like, I was just really calm. I'm like, oh, well, you know, all right. like, you know, oh, well, changing the channel or turning off the TV. I'm like, well, that's bad. You know what I mean? And then um, I go outside and then I'm watching this lady speak before the music starts. And then it was a small group of us. It wasn't a very crowd. And then, um, and then I saw this really tall African-American woman all just up in black. And she had three bodyguards that were very tall, very nicely dress up kind of like men in black but not really men you know men in black but and they're all african-american they all come in and they sit down and they all kind of circle around her while she's listening to this woman speak i'm right behind them 
And um, and then that's when um, all of a sudden th that was over. And then I was sitting beside this girl that I don't know who she was. I didn't come with her, but uh, I looked up, up and I saw, that's when I saw the, it looked like a sun. But the sun turned into like literally um, a light ship. And then it came over me and I was like, wow, oh my gosh, you know? And then I was like so happy, like a little kid, like jumping up and down. And I was like, wow. And then it came over me and then it went and it, it, it was invisible. I could, it just, it showed like it disappeared, but it was invisible, it was still there. And then um, the woman was behind, was lay, kind of laying on the grass behind me. And she's like, isn't that neat? She goes, isn't that so neat? And I'm like, yeah, that was like so cool. Like I, you know, I've never, they've never shown themselves to me. That's like the first time. And then that's when I was like, oh, maybe I should ask her if she wants to join the full embodiment of a master series with me, with, with David. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go over there. I'm like, hey, you know, cause I felt her energy was very regal and, and she wouldn't show the face until she said, hey, don't you think that was neat? And then when I asked her, that's when she took her face off and she had the most greenest eyes. They were so beautiful. She was a beautiful, beautiful woman. Her teeth were so white and beautiful. Like she definitely was kind of like queen regal. Mm -hmm. And that's when she's like, oh dear, you know, like, <laughs> I, like, like, you know, like, oh dear, I, I've already had, I already have clearance. I'm a part of the council. <laughs> and I go, oh, okay. <laughs> like, and she's like, bye. And like, okay, you're good. Like, goodbye. Like, you know, come on. Like, you know I mean? like, okay, sorry. But not sorry, but I love you. <laughs> I felt like a really good presence, but I didn't know who she was. So I'm curious, is she an aspect of me or what? <laughs> or what, what's the message there? I guess I'm trying to figure out. I don't like the way she said that. <laughs> I didn't care for that message at all. It was almost like, um, yeah, like I didn't know. That feels like a trickster energy. Mm. That was a terrible message. Oh dear. Like she's talking down to you. Did yeah. she sound like she was talking down to you? Yeah, it was kind of like, oh dear. I'm, you know, oh, I like I go to like, I would never. I yeah, see, they would never. Some, some, somebody that's a that's a loving spirit would never stay and talk down no, to it you. It depends which galactic sister. Yeah. Depends which one. Because <laughs> I didn't feel like any threat or anything. I just felt like she, like, no, I, but a, a no, higher dimensional Deb, being would yeah, never Deb, talk down. Yeah, sometimes Deb, I, they don't realize they're talking down. They, they haven't a, got the human side. To look, yeah. I don't know. That just felt awful demeaning. But like, oh dear. Like, like, kind of like, oh dear. Like, you know, but I guess um, the way she said it, well, it, no, it, I don't think that was bothering me. I think it was the message before that. Like, I am, are they showing me? demons in a in someone's channeling yeah. like why is yeah. that yeah that's that bothers me too i don't know but you know when i talked to david david said well it sounds definitely like the anunnaki but now they're about them are helping with the earth uh, uh, you know the oh. earth who says they are hands rich swans yep good and bad on both sides yeah <laughs> well you uh, know the what, what i saw you i'll tell you what i saw i saw you in a like glowing white I was going to say dress, but I think it was a light dress made of light, which was very, very strange. And you were helping aliens on the Galactics. So the visitors, you were like helping everyone to accustom to the planet you were on. Like you're a welcome committee. Yeah, you're a wake welcoming committee, that's it. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. that, would, that would sound great, that, yeah. that you would do something like that. And, because you're so excited about it all. I know I am. I, I just, I love, oh, I just, mm. I know. You love everything uh, about it. <laughs> it's just, um, it's, it's just really is an, a miracle. It seems like everywhere. I see like birds that come in front of me and disappear now. It's like, what? <laughs> by, by, by the way, you've got, uh, you have been given something to connect easier with the higher beings. That's what I'm being told. So that What's healing it? I was sending, something came through, you know, like, like a program or a code, I don't know what it is, and it'll make you so you can connect to them better. That's the great. IAB, the, the that's IAB. great. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Just at the right that's time. Wonderful. Yeah, because yeah, all I hear now is just the buzzing. Like, I always think, okay, uh, left is source and right is spirit, earth, and uh, left is source, my higher up. So it's like, it has that balance when I hear it. But like, or I'll get my prophetic dreams in my meditations or like when I'm sleeping, 
but I, it's it would be nice to be like, oh, oh okay. Can I say, I've, I've heard something like that. Spirit, a lot of times, don't know how to connect, so we can connect to you any old way. They're just as bad we us connecting to them as they connect to us. So sometimes it, it, they do do get it wrong. Yeah. Be aware of that. I'm just really, uh, I'm really grateful. I, I'm just really grateful for this experience on so many levels. So uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> Okay, so I did move into my new place. I don't know if you guys want to, uh, like the other one um, got flooded out by the hurricane. <laughs> I literally, like, probably alchemized that whole neighborhood. <laughs> like, it was interesting. A 150 year old oak tree that I used to hang out and create, um, I would create dreams with it <laughs> and send send a code healing um, to everybody around the world in the universe galaxy. Because uh, it was a birthing tree, it had, literally had like it looked like a woman birthing tree, and rainbow babies came out of that. When I when I did a meditation with David like through a long time ago, but the earthquake or the uh, excuse me the um, the uh, hurricane Ida, which was the largest hurricane in years that ever hit Florida, changed direction went right over my house, and uh, uh, we were pretty much flooded out for like a whole month. Gonna get out, you know. It was, you know, probably over ankle water, but it was for a reason. And uh, the the weather pulled this tree out. It barely hit, like it didn't hit the next door neighbor's house. It was like, like literally like an inch or 12 inches away from the house. But I spent time with this tree for months, like year, like a year. I want to say a couple years, right? Um, I would go to one that I would, out, I would, um, you know, cry and be sorrowful with. And the other one I would be like, let's create. <laughs> And that was the one that got pulled out. Well, um, and I would bring my dogs there. But when she left that day before, I felt like it was so, it was such a beautiful, I know that she shared with me like all of her codes. Cause I know that the trees talk to me all the time. They, I, they, I know they do. And, and I was, I just felt so grateful to be in that moment with her before she transferred to wherever Juno that she went to. And um, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this right now, honestly, but it was beautiful. Oh, because you had mentioned that it was a portal, Deb, uh, earlier. I didn't realize, I know that I could talk to them and I would put my back up and I, I could o o always feel like the energy connection with them, but I never knew that it was a um... portal stays with you. Whatever portal you open goes with you wherever you go. So that's your personal portal. Oh, okay, cool. You just have to, you, have, you just have to find a place where you want it to go to so it stays with you awesome <laughs> so, so choose, choose the place you wanted to go next okay yeah i haven't found my tree here yet <laughs> well we're just waiting for you to find your place yeah okay so it cool. stays with you even even if you're traveling that portal stays with you it goes with you wow doesn't That's it doesn't stay back at your house it goes with you nice cool <laughs> thank you you're welcome i love you guys i can't wait I to you see too. you i can't wait to see you me too <laughs> oh, I'm feeling so warm and fuzzy right now. Do you feel that? <laughs> <laughs> You've had the healing, we haven't. <laughs> yeah, <thank> you so <laughs> did you give her a card? Sorry. Did we give the cards? Yeah, of course I did. Okay. Say stop. I'm lying. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> stop. Help acceptance. Uh, see that? It's hard to see. Oh, she's sitting down on a step, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Basically saying, sometimes you're too difficult for yourself. Just let it go. Are you too difficult for yourself? I don't know. Say that one more time. Sometimes you're too difficult for yourself, on yourself. Oh. Yeah? So all you all your basis, that's what it's basically saying is, start loving yourself more. You oh, love yeah. yourself. Hmm? Oh, this whole journey's been about self-love. Yeah. Yeah. Every day, just uh, loving myself more and more. I just, uh, yeah. And loving others, you know, mm. loving to be alive, be in this presence, Lo you know, loving to be here with you. Yeah, that could be your two dogs, then. <laughs> so loving, loving the, loving the ball of himself. I could be another one, you know, because uh, you already did that. Just say stop. Okay. Is that stop. Yeah. Yes. That's basically saying uh, have a break from your journey, a retreat, uh, like an holiday. That seems yeah. more realistic, right? Now. Just keep on going, going, going. Like I'm like working overtime. <laughs> yeah, have a little bit more fun. Yeah. Uh, the fun is fun. 
the work, the hard work is probably, you know, the hardest part. Well, I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> I'm grateful. <laughs> that way, <laughs> yeah, I, I really feel that there's so much in love that's coming. It's I, it's already here, but it's it's all the. It's like, don't you guys feel it? It's like, feel it. It's just here. It's like everywhere. It's just, I don't know. It's beautiful. Definitely. I love you. Thank, Thank you. you, too. Thanks, man. All right, guys. Thank you. That's all I have to know. Just can be you guys forever. <laughs> Lily? Okay. The next one will be Linda. Linda Winger. Linda, Wing Linda Winger. Uh, Linda Winger for Body Scan. Hello. Hello. I'm Linda. I'm kind of feeling exhausted and half asleep here. I was just laying here listening. Oh, they're just freaking out. We have a sleeping and snoring dog. Don't poke her. Waking her up because she's snoring. <laughs> Poor Marley. Uh, you felt like you've been, your emotions are like right at the tip. Like you're just going to cry a whole day away. Mm. Yeah, I wish I could cry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can feel your emotions are right there. Yeah. Is it because of the holidays or is it just because that you, the the energies are pulling up things from the past like all these a lot of it i mean this is a tough time of year it is losing most of my family that are still alive and yes you know, yeah and yeah yeah the holidays are, are really really hard time yeah they never used to be they were beautiful but that's what makes it hard <laughs> It, this it, it, this you're keeping out of a lot of stress from this, and it, it's starting to hurt your neck. You're starting yes. to feel pain in your neck. Yeah. yeah. And I started developing a headache since the show started, and I don't usually get headaches, but yeah, that that's the stress. You've got to find a way of grounding it and taking it out, because once it overflows in you, you get the headaches, and then you get leaking, and then you get all your joints hurting, especially your neck, your shoulders. Yeah. Uh, anywhere that's we, you know, at your weak points get get pet more pain. That's it. Or it, 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 it's got to go to a destination. It, it's low vibration because it's stress. It just feeds your what hurts you the most. You have to take care of you. We can't control our the path yeah. that others take and and their decisions. It's yeah. so hard because we want to. We want yeah. them to. We want them to make the right decisions. You know, we know the answers and what's true finally at our age we finally discovered the real truth and we want to blast it out there and and have to trust me trust me we know we know we've been through your path and we want to, to take them and shake them but yeah well i have just we haven't had communication at all like my, my younger sister this big farm all the way uh, mine too. And I want to reach out and just say I'm here, but she's kind of closed down the door to, you know, close the door to. We have a yeah. son. If you if you connect to her and just say I'm always here for you, you've done your part. Yeah. She's then owning that problem. Yeah. You you've given it her, and it's her her choice then. Yeah. yeah. I have a I have a sister and a brother the same way, and and we have a son that that disowned us that because. But we didn't want to divorce his ex-wife, the mother of his children, and he had he remarried and had two more children, and we have not met them, and so you know they make decisions, and there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, we're, apart we're not, from say that you're there for them if they ever need you. We yeah. love them, you know, we love yeah. them, and we're here whenever they change their mind, if they if they ever do. Yeah, I, I I want to write her, and but I got to get in my heart space instead of. I know you're against freedom and everything. A, but a Christmas card. Yeah. You say I'm always here for you. Yeah, I will always love you, and I'll always be here for you. Yeah. That will never change. Yeah. So just we just release all these burdens that you carry because they're not yours. Yeah, well, saving the whole world's kind of feeling burdens. Burdens. <laughs> it's not your job. Keeping your vibration, you know, as we keep, as we raise our vibration, you affect 36 miles around you. I'm trying to release this stress that you've got, so you might feel like a vacuum, and I'll try and replace it with love and light. As you, your lower level vibration, as you have a low level, steady vibration, it's 18 miles. As you raise it, it's 36 miles. So the higher you go, the more the area you cover. So it, it, it just steady as it goes that's all it is it's just keeping your vibration high 
as high as you can in a consistent manner. It's helping yourself and people around you, your neighbors, your friends in your area. So anyone says that I, I don't do anything to help humanity, that's not true. I do a lot. I'm sure you do a lot. Too much and not enough. A lot that you don't even know that you do. Can you feel that energy, Linda? Yes, I do. Father said you're getting a download tonight. It's not only a, it's, it's a mineral download, something that your body needs, but you're getting another download that's an expansion. And he said, can you get to bed before midnight? <laughs> or at midnight <laughs> at the earlier well, thanks, between 11 and, and 12 would be great he said <laughs> thanks for waking me up at 7 47 i love that one. <laughs> how do you feel now i feel it it just feels yeah it feels good you just gotta stay in that vibration don't put negativity yeah it's yeah the there's been a lot of fear and you know living in china uh, that, you know. a, lo a lot of people that I've chosen something. I've got a control recording and to waking them up is very, very difficult. So they like controlled in the system. Yeah. yeah. And I've seen it, it's like a, a black goo in the brain. I just need to take it out. I've heard a lot about the black goo. I haven't done any, I haven't known about me releasing any or anything. I, I have a I have a, a spiritual being that eats it. I don't have to get rid of it anymore. <laughs> I created it, but it's uh, it's from white light, angelic light, and it'll take it out. But, but people, I've had messages where their pets are different to them after they're more loving. Animals see it; they can see people who are being controlled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe more. Do you want a card, by the way? Do you want maybe more meditation? Yes, please. Anyway. Yeah. Anyone that's getting healing today, please a reminder that this energy that we are putting inside your body uh, lasts for seven days. Please drink a lot of water that you've blessed. And never own people's problems. It's just You're just going to their vibration. Yeah, it's being in the spiritual community and the freedom community. Everybody's so full of drama and, you know, I'm peaceful here in my home unless I have my Facebook going. You know. I say stop. Stop, please. Because you had romance, I'm, I'm giving you two. So you've got romance and you've got enchant is it enchantment. Enchantment. So enchantment is, uh, what's enchantment? Remember you're awesome, that's what he's saying. You're, you're an awesome being. Re reveal your true gifts, express yourself. But I do think enchantment is also to do with the, uh, to the uh, special creatures that we, we don't see in 3D. That's a unicorn. Uh, but it, it can be little fairies and stuff like that. And romance, your prayers for love are being answered, so I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> yeah? So whatever you... I've been hearing that every year for three years. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, okay. It might be because you're holding on to this low vibration. Remember, if you hold on to people's low vibration, you will only attract this sort of vibration. If you release it and lift your vibration, then you'll attract that vibration. Yeah. So, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Do you feel lighter yeah. now? Yes, I do. Good. I was bringing in the uh, platinum ray, so that should lift your vibration. I also, I, I took, yeah, it's 20 second check. I took out the density from your stress and replaced it with that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now the next one. The next one is Victoria. Hey, Victoria. Hello again. Hello. Uh, body scan and maybe see if there's anything in the house or, you know, any mm -hmm. message. There is nothing in the house when we were doing uh, brain scan. We were doing baby i'll call it baby so there's nothing there so i don't think there'll be anything in the, the last hour yeah we, um when we were doing bobby um we were uh we didn't find anything in the house any any more portals apart from your mom's uh, other than yeah your mom's <laughs> yeah 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 I, i'm so grateful that the um that these you know times have passed you know what i mean yeah finally some peace and you know yeah it took, a long, it took a long time. 
it didn't help with all the transmuting I was doing these past months. Mm-hmm. But you know, getting the vibration back up helps. Yes, it's it helps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I do apologize. Made it so hard for you guys. That made it hard for you. That's I mean, it was it was you we were worried about. It wasn't、uh, us. I know. I know you guys were probably up up in smoke with me or something. It was was difficult. But that was that was a good a, lesson. I was ready to go to flight and go kick your ass. <laughs> oh man, I, I deserve it. Okay, I deserve yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I let go a lot of light, but th- but then again, I had to transmute fifty nine incarnations,、uh, so it was not easy. No, but you have to take care of you first, or you can't take care of anybody else. <laughs> yeah, but that was like、um, I realized it was a a learning、um, a learning experience because I walked into this body. A lot of my The previous me had, you know, her lifetime. I I don't have memories of too too much memories of my past. So there was shadow work that needed to be done, and not a lot of things that came out after, you know, I met Dex. So there was healing involved and transmuting transmuting back and forth. We're healing each other because we're twins, and there were lessons and things that I have to evolve to get to the next episode. That's why I, I I had stuck energy with me and had no idea, you know, what they were. So it was all needed at that time. It was just what it is. You still have to con- you still have to take care of your energy first. Yeah,、or- I learned that lesson. Yeah, <laughs> you can't do you can't drain yourself. Yeah, that was the first time I well actually no I drained many times, but that was the absolute worst. That was the same、um, type of draining I had when I had thousands of demons attacking me during that time my mom died. They they literally almost took out my flames, almost just a little spark. It was my Elo himself that came in, that blocked everything, you know, that kept me alive those months. It was crazy. They went all out to, you know, to, to take me out, but then they failed over and over again. The、so、support is there, I tell you. I mean, if you trust and believe. It doesn't matter whether it's the archangel, your higher self, your oversoul, you know, father, mother. There, you know, you well, trust. It's, when it's not your, I know, but if it's not your time, you're not supposed to. You know, if it's not your time, you, you, you're not supposed to go then. Yes,、you、I can, know. I was thrown back into the body. You can't abuse your yourself. Yeah. To the point. Yeah. And that's what Father's message was to you. You know, you can't let yourself get to that point. You can't. Yeah, you know? that was. That、yeah. was back then when I didn't know better. I was making, I was looking for my soul family. That's all I knew, because、um, I was guided to find my soul family, but I didn't know how. So I went online looking, and that time I had no idea. I was, I had no connection with light workers or anything like that. You know, I had no idea. I didn't even watch YouTube videos, but I tried to look for people. I just knew I had to find them, and I met bad people, and I was naive and gullible. And then you know. Fast forward nowadays, I met you know some good people and your you know your group and and everybody and you know I found a home here. I mean I don't resonate with very many people and you know a lot、mm. of light workers I don't resonate with either because they're too judgmental and too. I don't think they understand、um, your gifts and your and your and your situation and your. They don't understand. That's all. They just don't understand you. When you when you activate one hundred. 108 chakras. You pretty much cover the entire planet. So whenever, whenever I bring in any energy, it fries. And so I really have to lower myself. I have to descend in order to、yeah. get down. You know, just to be normal. I couldn't even be normal for a long time, and it was so frustrating. I can't make friends and stuff like that, and I had cried. But you know what? Soul families are coming in. They're flooding in, and a mass ascension is happening for everyone. So if you feel you are, you know, needing to find people, you don't have to worry. They will come to you. Is, is that is that one hundred and five chakras of you? One hundred eight. One hundred eight. That's like ten D. I literally went full blast <laughs> and literally shook shook up the neighboring dimensions <laughs> all the way up.、Yeah. And when、That's、I like ten D, maybe eleven. When when, when old, I、so. um. When I did that, literally everybody was plugged in. Like everybody, all those kingdoms, cosmic, galactic, universal, elementals—they were all plugged in. I was like, okay, you know, it just happened. My soul decided that,、okay. so I'm fine. My body. Yeah, how did you feel? 
I, um, I don't. I didn't really have any pain. I was just wondering if I have anything. Something left. Yeah, I'm not sure. It might be. I don't know what it is. But something that you unwanted energy. I don't know what it is. Yes, yes. Because I suddenly got really cold, and I just somehow picked it up just yeah. a little while ago. Yeah, and so that's like, why I want to eat my turkey soup just to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> it helped. All right. Um, okay. Say stop. Oh, stop. And that now, sure you get <sighs> children. So you got to play like a child. You get right. that message a lot. I yeah, know. today. <laughs> we, we, Have you already had it? Have you already had it? He's before? had it several times. <laughs> yeah, I think you have. Only your inner child. Only yeah. inner child. So you you want us, to, you know? I guess always want us to be all brats then. All right, go on, start playing. <laughs> there, there are many times I'm really bratty, and I miss that because you know, part of the Trinity, you literally have to embody the child all the time, and yeah. I used to live like that when I walked into this body, and. I wasn't able to do that in these last few months to be that my child self too much because there was so much going on. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. I love yeah, you guys well, all. Victoria, something's been you. shifted, so that might help you. What? Something did get shifted from you, so yeah, that might help you. Get what? Something did shift from you, so you might be able to, like on the inner child. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, um, since I don't remember my past, I had to learn to be human all over these past few years since 2018. And because I was, like Father said, I wasn't ready to go. I mean, I was li literally uh, another aspect of me was, you know, took over because I opened, I accessed the exit portal. So I know I left or that left person. But yeah, got thank the you. Information to lead. Let's <laughs> <laughs> bring you back. Well, thanks, thanks, Victoria. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Honey. Okay. Next one, Marie. She has a pain in the foot. Maria. Yes. Marie. Hi again. Hi. Yeah, I've actually for the past few months I've had. Hang on, is this my food? There is a like a dot that is very painful, like around right here. And I have a hard time walking on it, and I, I. It's not physical. There's no amount of stretching they'll get rid of it. There's no amount of emotional clearing they'll get rid of it. I don't know is what the hell. Is it still there? Is it yeah, still there now? There. Yep. Is it this minute? You can still feel it. Yep. Yes, I thought when we removed the uh, implants, didn't we remove implants from her? She had a portal. Oh, oh. it was on the couch. She had a tracker. Some in the tracker. No, I thought we had a tracker on it. Didn't? Or that, was that it was just my like cat? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I, I thought work was done on you, but it could be the memory. You, st you might have the memory of it. No, we t we removed them from you too. Oh yeah. Yeah, you had one in your left foot. That's in my That's right, foot. right foot. That's your right foot. That's your right foot. So I thought it was investigation. What the hell's in her right foot? You might feel it. Right no, you know what? There's a piece of. It looks like they started to put one in there. It's not completed. Yeah. So it was never hooked up. There's just a piece of it in there. Okay. So it was never, there was one in your uh, left foot and you had an implant in you too. I thought we did it with the cat, the cat and you at the same time. No, the, you did the, the implants and the cats and the two portals. Yeah, but we did you at the same time. We, we did you as well. We, we did oh. you as well. You just, you don't understand him when he talks to you. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I missed that completely. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. We did it. We did it because of the portal and everything. We did the a lot longer. Yeah, we did it all at the yeah. same time. <laughs> okay. You, you feel this uh, where you're feeling pain? Are you feeling any release yet? Yeah, it's still painful. So, do you feel any energy there or anything? Can you feel energy in your foot? I'm not, I'm, what, what, what would it feel like? Well, you, you, it could even feel like heat or vibration. No. <sighs> but I just burped, so that might be it. Because <laughs> usually I yawn or I burp when I do energy work. Yeah, it can be like negative energy being released. Kind of. I don't see anything there anymore, so it's gone. I sense me. Really. And so did I. Her foot is all green, green energy, so that's healing energy. Oh, well, maybe it'll go away with time. But yeah, it's still like if I can press it, it's still definitely there. Is it past life? Are we thinking it's the same, but it's not? It's not really. Oh, I wonder. Oh, I see in a past life that somebody stuck wood, like 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 tortured her. You know, like 
between her toes. I wouldn't be surprised. I've had to deal with so like, much like, dark energies and dark entities in this current life that I like, I don't know what I did in past Some life. kind of torture, like where they stick wooden pegs between your toes. That's horrible. No wonder your foot hurts. You, uh, you're making me burp. Where my burp is from? I didn't eat. <laughs> you, you can put negative energy in. You can burp it out like that. So some of you was do like that. Oh, again, you were an African man in oh. Africa. Oh, oh, again. Oh, God. And why am I burping all this? What's it coming from my? So negative energy, you you draw it out. So yeah, from it's her, the I'm drawing it out from her. Yeah. That's a new ability you got done. <laughs> Some do that. So At least it's burping and nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that past life, Bill? I was just shifting it with Tom. It's amazing how they work, they work these punishments out, these tortures. There's some sick people who existed then, they exist now. <laughs> Do you feel anything then? Yeah, I feel it. I feel it here. A lot got shifted anyway. Okay. You, you still got pain in your foot. Yeah. <laughs> the, the best way to do this sort of shadow work or this past life work is going meditation. In fact, if you Nikki sort of past life soul repair or soul repair, okay. and just go through that, and you got to coach your your fragmented soul and uh, bring it back to source or bring it back to your over soul. Nikki Sutton, Soul Retrieval. Yeah. She's got a very angelic voice. Okay. Is that on YouTube? Free. Okay. It's free as well. Unless you pay for it, but you can get it free as well. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't mind that. But she's got a few uh, guided ones that are pretty good. And that one is, is really good. Yeah. Okay. All right. I will try that. The, the thought might be a bit of a memory. It might, might just ease after a few days. The brain can keep these memories. So, we can repair anything, but if the brain still got it, it's, it's got to be like reprogrammed. Okay, so I, I have an extra question. I, I like I grew up in a very like my, the, the house that I grew up in was haunted. Like it definitely um, changed all my family's behavior, and even I, for a couple of years, um, had to fight the urge to murder my entire family. And that I was able to get it away, but I feel like I'm always every time there's there's a, has been more voices in my head than there should be. And every time I can get them to leave, they're always dark and negative and bad. So I can I can never trust myself. Is there anything that I can do to sort of clear that out and just... Yeah, Deb, you know? are you still there? I'll wait for Deb. I don't know what to do. Uh, so you had a, like a poltergeist in the house you were brought up in? I think it was way more than that. Poltergeist is So you had de de demons in the house? I think it was demon. I've had demons in this house that has been removed and then had to get someone else to take them away. But it's it's follow. I feel like it's following me throughout my entire life. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry I had to yeah. Marie was saying that uh, she used to have demons in a house where she was brought up and they've been following her. I wonder if this is a curse, family curse. Demons shouldn't follow you unless they've got a contract. Uh-huh. Okay, this is a bigger job. I'd close your eyes and I'll try and connect and I'll try and go in your timeline and I'll try and sort out the demons. Okay. Do you have any um, jewelry or, or symbols or something your family gave you? I do have some jewelry from my grandmother on my maternal side. Did, did, was she uh, also a demon or, she, or did they worship the devil or...? I didn't know her very well because my mother was not uh, very attached to her. She didn't. She was very narcissistic and very, very mean. Like my mom's, my mom, her sister, and like all of her cousins, the same generation, they all got raped by the same uncle. And when she told her mom, her mom's like, "I don't believe you. You're lying. Just get the fuck out." But I like my mom told me stories of her running after her brother with a knife and her her brother setting the house on fire by accident. There's, I feel like it's it's. it's sort of came down on both sides of the family. It, it sounds like it's all demon control, doesn't it? But even your uncle, uh, the uncle raping everyone, that can be messages in the voice. And if you uh, yeah. if you like a drink, alcohol and stuff like that, they can, yeah, they uh, did. Yeah, they can get into the person because when you've had a drink, you wish the demon in. And if it's a demon around, you've got it in. It controls you and it, it wants you to do really dark stuff. There's something, uh, there's something they're saying that there's some kind of jewelry or some kind of something that they're 
that they're continuing this on with some kind of... Um... The, the, the portal we opened, we thought it was the previous. This could have been your portal, but it's your cursed portal from the demon side that mm -hmm. you take along, but you don't realize. So do you get that? So we've yeah. closed it, but you could probably reopen it because it's like in your timeline, if you get what I mean. Yeah. So let's try. And look yeah, there's a, there's some kind of jewelry or something that's handed down that that, that um that um, there's some kind of jewelry. Let me go. I'll go get the jewelry that I got from her when she died. <clears throat> I only got this, it's a watch. Yeah, just send it to me and I'll bless it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it, honestly. Okay. I've never used it. I might just throw it out entirely. Do you have a necklace or anything that's, any or any Catholic thing? Were they Catholic? Um, My parents were, but they never forced us to go because they didn't like it. And I, I personally hate Catholic religion. I've been baptized against my will, but that's it. Yeah, did they have, did she, did grandmother give you anything that was Catholic? Not to my knowledge. Like, I don't have, I don't have any crosses, I don't have anything. I just don't like it. Hmm. Do I have anything else from her? Oh, I might have a ring from her somewhere. What kind of jewelry? Yeah, I have this from her. Let me see this next amethyst, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's not it. Something that you got. Did you get a Ouija board? Nope. Did you get a photograph, a, 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 a painting, or anything with any symbols on it from them? No, I don't. I don't have. I mean, family photos are at my mom's. I just have her little. You and know, when they die, they make like a little page keeper thingy. It's the only photo I have of her here. Why do they keep saying you got something that carried this on? It's symbolic. Could be a bloodline curse. The blood. I'm following it now. Very, very dark. It's more reptilian demon than normal. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I have made meditation where I used to see my feet, my right hand as a reptilian. Like the three claws and it's green. And yes. the foot too. Yeah. When you were little, did, were they underneath your bed? Did you did you feel like they were underneath your bed? Uh, well, my brother used to hide under my bed for like an hour and so I would go, after I would go to bed and then scare the shit out of me. So I've always been terrified of everything everywhere. Like it's to the point that I just never feel safe about anything, anywhere, anyone, not even myself. Well, I'm getting dead. This is a new one on me. I haven't seen this one before. It's a bloodline curse from a ritual from reptilians. It's a reptilian torture thing. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there you go. Now I've got to find a way of getting rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> you might have felt something in your foot about a minute ago because we've stuck something in your foot to to get the memory, yeah? So you might have felt a little shiver there, something like that, tingling. <laughs> you feel any different? I feel, I have, feel like I have energy running through me and for some reason I have the song Let It Go from the, <laughs> the movie Frozen constantly playing on the loop. You can play, sing it if you want. <laughs> I've got hey, into your timeline to the where the torch was being done. We killed three reptilians, the fourth one, we cut the contract, but then we had, we had to. It's a bit like doing like a, a cleansing to the person that was dying. Still died. I couldn't change. You can't change death. Yeah. You can change the curse on the death. So, okay. Okay. This was only supposed to be a paley. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> End up going into the Middle Ages. <laughs> it's a reptili reptilians were on Earth in the Middle Ages because it was on Earth. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, you go. I, think of that. I think I was in the Earth. I'm not 100%. To be honest. But the other, you were, the being in your bloodline was human. So, huh. <sighs> there you go. But it was, the bloodline was cursed. Yeah. So, what happens is they take the energy of each being and sometimes you see them because they're in your shadows. Oh, um, okay. Oh, okay. Hopefully they're gone now. I hope that, so. That, that, that portal was yours. <laughs> that serpent, <laughs> sorry, it was reptilian, reptilian serpent at work. They look very okay. similar, to be honest. Yeah. Huh. The, your, um, the ring, the amethyst ring is fine. That's a beautiful crystal. Now, it's a protective one. So just run cold water on it. Yep. 
for a my, few my, my, my aspect saying it was a reptilian demon. It wasn't reptilian, yeah. it was a reptilian demon. So yeah. it would have had suckers and everything. I didn't see it as much. Terrible. Yeah. I've got I've got a picture of one, but I won't put it in. <laughs> <laughs> a real one. I have actually got a real picture of one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Anyway, after you you run the cold water over it, then hold it in your right if you're right handed, hold it in your right hand that absorbs your energy. Or if you're left handed, hold it in your left hand. Let it absorb your energy and that becomes yours. Okay, cool. So I have a few out I like a whole I bought a different kit like with the earrings and the necklace and stuff like that, but it's still I made this. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime you get any jewelry or any crystals or anything that you buy outside of, you know, out you want to run cold water over them so it gets rid of anybody else's energy on them and then hold it in your hand to absorb your energy. So okay. then it becomes doesn't, yours. Doesn't the moonlight does the same thing? It Everything. Do, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I've, I've got some of from Shaman and I've kept his energy in there. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you got to connect and everything and see how, how good it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you can program crystals to do um, to help you. Yeah, so I've heard, but I've never spent, I have a bunch of them, but I've never really spent time with them. Yeah, they're live. They're you just live. Get, get a load of symbols like uh, Flower of Life or Metatron's Cube. And then put cir- put them in a circle, and then a, say a circle of say green energy, which is like art chakra. And then put say a, a rock crystal in the middle, and just leave it on your bedside. So then it's it uh, it takes all the negativity away as well. Ooh. You can you can do it on a dream catcher and leave a dream catcher flat, and then put crystals on, and then you're actually programming. Not only are you taking your dreams away, you're also taking the negativity energy that uh, is forming for them dreams. Okay. Yeah, because I wouldn't want to take all my dreams. I mean, dreaming is fun. Yeah. It no? depends if you have dark dreams. I have the most random dreams ever. They're always between six and eight in the morning. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm actually traveling. I'm not just that's dreaming. probably your time. You probably have sleep the first so many hours because that's what I do. And then after you've had the body rest, you then do the spiritual job yeah well thank you thank you very much i didn't know that could be a thing <laughs> a reptilian blood curse <laughs> yeah. you learn everything sometimes we we, have, we find out we find new things a lot thank you bill that was very good <laughs> you're <Yeah>. welcome <laughs> basically i'm in a we room find, we four. find new stuff a lot <laughs> i'm basically in a room with four beings with a, a sword of god fighting them kill free and then because the, normally what you're supposed to do is send the consciousness to source but sometimes you have got the time so you can be reborn but because it's in the timeline i'm really breaking the rules by sending them to source because you've already had lives after if you get what i mean okay. so uh, i left one alive one live and did a deal <laughs> new deal with anyone <laughs> when, when, when there's a sword to the throat they'll, they'll go by it do you want a, a card Stop. Well, I'll be giving you a kiss. Right, that's your guardian angel is saying that your guardian angel is behind you. Yay. All the way. There you go. <laughs> oh, I want you there before we did the work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Your guardian angel's name is Millicent, by the Millicent? way. Millicent? Yep. Millie. Call her Millie. She's Millie huh. for short, she said. All right. That's one of your angels. But that's the one that's closest to you right now. Okay. She's been there since birth. Okay. Is she she the one that I hear walking around? That you what? Hear. That you hear? hear I hear like I'll hear the floor creak and stuff like that. And well, I don't know if you hear her, but she's she's she said if you want to hear her, talk to her. She responds. Okay. Oh, my birds are going crazy. I apologize. They're being brought. Uh, We don't hear them. You don't hear my parrot? No. Good. Not oh, good. <laughs> I can. They're loud. They're very loud right now. In the next few, Mary, in the next few days, try and remember your dreams. And that is the, the dream that you're going to get is the stuff job that you're getting in what you're doing in Nashville. I can't tell you your job even though I know it. I've been told that you've got to find that job. Okay. Yeah. I really want to me. tell you, but I don't I can't. I've been told that to you. Because yeah, I really want to know. I've been wondering all my damn life what am I supposed to do here. I think with all the uh, the bloodline problem, it's probably made your brain a bit bl- away from it. It's separated it because they, they probably didn't want your astro infected with it. 
we have to probably you got around well. probably but now you haven't and you should be okay oh i think so thank you so much okay thank You're you welcome Okay, okay. The next one is Kari. She has a lower back pain and ankle pain. Hello? Hi. Have you still got your foot problem? It's me. I still do. I still do. And right, um, okay. back, um, it's not really pain, but um, I'm supposed to have an MRI in uh, the 28th for my lower back to see if there's a pinched nerve. So you went after, after last week's healing, what, what happened? Um, I had a nerve test. No, I meant you walked around and I mean, oh. it was like nothing happened. You were in pain. It, it was like we didn't I, do anything. I walked around a little and then the pain did come back. And it's really bad in both ankles still. And yesterday I got out a little bit, but I paid for it last night. My feet just got red and they were in pain all night because I, I got out a little. I went to the chiropractor to have my back adjusted and um the pain is just sh still shooting pain mostly the right foot but left foot also and it's still there can you feel that energy what's that can you feel, can you feel energy? the energy oh i wasn't thinking about it let's see well you shouldn't have to think about it you should feel it automatically that's something you should feel you shouldn't have to think about it maybe in my lower back you might feel a bit prickly energy still on her spine mm -hmm. About four inches, I don't know, about four inches above her tailbone. It looks like there's a white, a white clip, like somebody put a clip on her, on her back, on her spine. It doesn't look like it, like a, a plastic staple or something on her back. I don't see anything else there. It almost looks like somebody put some plastic piece in your back. Can you feel the energy now? Yeah. Where do you feel it? In my lower back. I just feel it in your lower back and your voice connect. I've never seen anything like that before. Who put it there? I can't How see a barcode. <laughs> huh? Can't see the barcode. That's what we don't know. It's not an Im it's not a it's not like an implant. It's not like a it's not connected to anything. It's not anything that we can trace. It's just a looks like a plastic staple. I never had anything done to my back, ever. Have, have we ever took implants out of you? Have you ever what? Taking an we, implant yeah, out of you. my memory when I was Yeah, we, we've never taken an implant out of yeah. you. Yeah, so we're no. Have you ever had it taken out by anyone else? Uh, anything taken out? The Have implants. you ever had an implant removed from somebody else? No, no. It doesn't make sense, that's why. That's what I, I mean. I, I, I've never seen that theory before. This is the first time I'm seeing something actually right. put in her back, something there. And that's affecting my feet, you think? Well, Good. it wasn't there before. This is the first time I'm seeing something there. Because you saw a pinched nerve and then you saw like a little clear bubble. Yeah. Yes, but I've never seen this. That wasn't there the last time I looked at your back. How do we get it out? Well, it's not hard. No. <laughs> I just, now it, seems, now it seems like now there's somebody playing games. I'm going to scan your house. Do you live near water? Um, seven, ten, seven to ten miles away, the beach. Any water? Not really. A lake? A pond? A lake? A... Not right, not right around here. A fountain? a fountain? There might be a fountain in the front where you come in, maybe. I'm just gonna send loads of uh, energy into your boat. Do you have a washer? Do you have a washer and dryer in your apartment? Oh uh, yeah, it's right out the door, and it just stopped. I mean, it's done. I had a washer going, but it's gone. It's done. It stopped. <laughs> There's a portal above her washer and dryer. There's no mirrors in there. Feels and it's out on my patio. No, it's above your washer and dryer. There's a portal. It's new. It's new? Should we go look? No, you don't have to look. I know it's there. There's a, f they're coming through this fountain to that portal in like water. This has been three months and 10 doctors and I can't get fixed. You still sit, feel the pain in your foot now? In my foot? Can you yeah. feel it now? Yeah. Uh, is it the same or is it changed? Um, it's about the same, just a tightness in both feet, tightness and pain. Look on her, look on the back of her ankles. She has this, one of those plastic staples on each of the ankles. Yep, I feel pinching on both ankles. Pinch, a pinching feeling in both ankles yeah. on my tendons. There's, there's a plastic staple, like that white plastic staple on each ankle too. It's like a tendon and it's tight and it's pinching. Yeah. yeah. On both sides. Yeah, well, that would be why. Do you have dreams? Yeah. Do you, do you remember the dreams? Any weird ones? 
Um, a weird one, I was in like, whoops, where'd you go? I was in the ocean and I was swimming and there was like a wallet out in front of me and I couldn't really get to it. And something else was floating in the water, but I was like going over waves in the water. And I have a lot of dreams, but I don't always remember them. What are you getting, Dad? I'm getting some weird stuff. You have a study about other beings, alien beings. No. It's just I've got a, a connection with that. Um, I don't really study it at all, no. Yeah, I've got a oh, dream about it. I've got a connection with that, which is strange. <laughs> How long have you thought been like this now? Uh, it started in September, my right foot, and then slowly the left foot came into the same issue. And you had no injuries at the time? No, just I've been on my feet for 30 years with my work. I run around yeah. seven hours every day for 30 years. What are you getting from the portal? I'm just trying to sort of be. I've just got a connection with the alien beings taking samples. Is it a good witch or a bad witch alien being? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like it's dark. I don't feel like it's dark either, but there, I don't know what the point is. I've been taking away from my job, my friends. I'm depressed. I've lost 20 pounds. I'm in my home every day. Even if I try to get out a little, I'm just suffering at night. I, I just, I just, I'm not in a good place. This, this may turn around if you start being grateful for what you do have. And I can tell you that right now that it's, it's I know it's gonna be hard, but it's it's time to turn it around. It's not gonna turn around to, your, to better it, until you turn around because there's a lot of people suffering with a lot worse. This is a tough time of year for so many people, Carrie. There's so many people. So instead of, Instead of being self pity, be grat yeah. being gratitude because it could be so, so much worse. I know, but it's so hard not to have my feet, and everybody else has their feet. I just not, not everybody else has their feet. Some people don't have hands and feet, and they're yeah. not, and they're not, they're not complaining. So let's 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 put it in perspective. Let's let's be let's be in gratitude that it, that it could be so much worse, and be thankful for everything you do have, and the people in your life you do have that love you. The people are alone in during the holidays and they're 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 some people are homeless. You look at Cal, look at the people in California that are living in, on the street. You are inundated with homeless in that Yeah, street. I know. I know. But for the grace of God that could be you. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I just want a doctor to figure it out. Okay, but and I understand that. And we're trying to, to heal you. We're trying to find the, the root cause of where yeah. where it started and, and we're doing the best we can. I know. Hey, Karen, can you the send a message on me messenger? You, the better so it is for, all, for you. Yeah. Can, can, can you send a message from your messenger so I can have a look at this overnight? Uh, I'm intrigued by it. I'd like to investigate it properly. What do you want send me to send on your messenger on Facebook? Just say, just, yeah, just send a, a message. Just say, I, I, hi. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have this, this amethyst. Should I do anything with this? That's, that covers negative energy and everything, too. So that's yours. And um, that's for you. But okay. understand, you have an open portal, and you know you didn't have this before. So there's obviously something coming in, and I see things in your body that weren't there before. That are actually, I, I don't know where they came from, but whoever's opening that portal, it came from them. So what Phil, do I do? No, Phil, let me investigate overnight. Yeah. Okay. Phil's going to investigate overnight, but from now on, instead of saying "poor me," yeah. Go into gratitude and gonna, do, and list everything that you're you're thankful for because sitting there and feeling sorry for yourself is only going to bring more negative. Yeah, it is. You're right. It's just been months. So what and months. you say is what you get. Remember that, everybody. What you say is what you get. It only brings on what what you're vibrating at. What's your my guardian manifesting? So stop. Yes. Yeah, we manifest what we say and what we feel and what we think. Yeah, I I get all that. I know. I I I'm never alone in my life, so it's it's just a huge, a whole new. I don't know why the universe or God is putting me it in this it. place because these are all. It, it, they're all. What it might be, through. I did pick this up. It might be that your feet are to do with you. You've created that. Why? You've created this because your path is not the path that you should be doing. Yep. You might be. You might want to. You might be needing to do a spirit. And once you're on the correct path. These might just go away then. Yep. We all chose our experiences before we came here. 
but and you might be getting this because you're not on your spiritual path if you think the logic in that it's like a, a calling that look you don't have to walk out we've done your feet you don't have to do the job now you know it's at home let's do the spiritual path yeah so. yeah i have a blister on my side of my heel it's on the side a blister i don't know uh, uh, I'll give you an example. I don't like doing uh, Hollywood studios. Doctor Strange was a surgeon. He damaged his hands. He became a sorcerer. That's very similar what you might be doing. You might be need leading to a spiritual path. So you might not be doing what you should be doing. And that's why you can have pain in it. All these things could be a positive. They might be being manifested for you to go on a certain what do you want to do spiritual in spirituality? What do you want to actually do? Um, what do I want to do in spirituality? Yeah. Um, just. What she call it? What what do you, would you like to do? I I mean I'm a makeup artist and that's what I've done for all my years and I I loved it and I love what I do so mm. it's hard to think of something else that I would love to do. Um, I I can get closer to God I guess um, spiritually I don't know I I think of myself as being spiritual already what i would do is do a bit of meditation look at all the spiritualities and see what what you're drawn to i really would but i was giving this earlier but it's very difficult to, to say that sort of thing but these things that you're the pain that you're getting is to, yeah. to look at yourself and start doing something different yeah. oh i'd like to do uh to to learn reiki reiki there you go and heal myself yeah I, I did Reiki one and I can do attunement, but I'd like to, I mean, study that a little bit, you know, because mm -hmm. we're all universal energy and we could heal ourselves, right? Yeah. Just, That's just kind of what we do. Just be careful with Reiki. You don't give your power to anything. Uh, You've got your, the powers within, but Reiki's uh -oh. still okay. The reason why Reiki is okay is no one knows that it's, you can do spirituality, you can do all sorts. There was four Reiki masters that, that created Reiki hundred years ago in Japan. <laughs> and uh i would use the symbol if it was me but that's your choice yeah, yeah okay what, what what would you do he would, use he would not use the symbols if it were yeah. if it was up to him oh it no symbol oh okay well i don't have to do reiki <laughs> you know no no healing healing's just the, the healing part of it is good you don't have to don't use the symbols if, 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 the, if, the powers within yeah the powers within it has nothing yeah. to do with the symbols Oh, okay. Because yeah. they can lead to other things, opening things. Well, and it can give me give you a bit of your power away, in my opinion. Anyone's looking at YouTube, <laughs> yeah. right? Right. Um, but but you just said you you want to do healing. So why don't you start trying to look for places that you can train, or you could do your Reiki, but just be careful of giving your power away. That's all. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, tomorrow I'm going to try to get to church because I. I don't really go to church, but it feels good to be with people and the music and people are pr pray for me there too. Mm. Yeah. And um, so I'll probably try to do that tomorrow just to get, I just need to get out of the house sometimes. I got to get out of here. Exactly. I'd go to, so, I'd go to the beach. <laughs> I'd go to the beach. <laughs> That's I know, my I church. Just I just don't have, I just don't always have someone that will take me there, you know, but, um, yeah, I've never been alone before in my life, but I live alone. You're not alone. So I'm not, we're never alone, right? You have an angel named Malcolm. Malcolm? Mm hmm He's the closest one to you right now, Malcolm. Malcolm? So I can yep. talk to him? Oh, yeah. Can he He's, help me heal? He can help you in a lot of ways. He is your Re guardian. Remember, He's your guardian it, might, it might not be healing you need. You need to look at your path, then I'll be healing. Oh, my path? Yeah. I need to, like, get on my path. At the moment, you're stuck at home doing hardly anything. Well, you've got a brain to think. You've got the Google to, to go. You've got the internet. Start looking at your next stage. Your right. Next stage. Uh, it's like, what, what do I do at the moment? I do so many. I, I'm a school teacher on a Monday. I've got my own business. Yeah. I do spiritual healing on a Tuesday and I teach judo on a Friday. Right. Yeah. All yeah. for free. I don't, I don't get paid for them, but I give my energy to it and yeah. i get back the energy as well yeah. that's why i do what i do the makeup artist i i help people they want to look like me and they want their makeup like me so i help all of them and they feel good about themselves and i feel good about myself it's like a different you know 
Mm. But I've done it 21 years and it's, I don't know who I am without that, you know? Well, you can, you could have done that and something else as an hobby, like a sideline. Yeah, line. true. Well, I do I go to people's homes and do their makeup for events and things, you know? Yeah. I'm talking but, about something that's completely different. Oh, yeah. I know. I don't even know what that would be. I don't know myself. You just said right. You just said you're interested in writing. Yeah, but now that I don't want to do those symbols that I do. Yeah, I you, you can still go into it. Just don't give you power to it. Yeah, because I do put it on my hands as symbols sometimes. Mm. So I don't want to. You open got up. the power within your source. Be we all source beings. Right. Yeah. Um, Tuesday, they might drop me from um, workman's comp because they think there's something wrong with my back. So I'm afraid to not get paid anymore after Tuesday. It's a long story. And my brother told me to get a lawyer, and I don't know if I should do that. It's just a lot for me, right? It's just overwhelming. If you did more meditation, then you, you, your brain would be clearer. Okay. You'd have an, you'd know what you're doing. Some days I do a lot of meditation, and then some days I'm just like, okay, I did that so much already, you know? Mm. I do like healing meditations. Yeah. Well, if you think about it, you're not sure where you path. So yeah. probably 900 to 1,000 hertz wake up your brain get your brain thinking get, connect to your subconscious yeah get the messages get the messages from my subconscious that are trying to yeah. tell me yeah so yeah. just be quiet do i have but any last, other um guardian angels last, last last sunday last. yeah last sunday i did meditation all day all day because i needed to have some answers do i uh deb do i have more uh guardian angels yes, you do um Teresa, leroy and wow. Marsha. Those are the four that are closest to you. Teresa, you Leroy, Mar Marsha. Marsha and Malcolm. And um, I can ask them to come in and help me with things and they're good. They're always with you. They don't ever leave. And they're good? Yeah, those are your angels. And I don't have bad ones, are you? <laughs> no bad ones? Angels. <laughs> it's very rare you it's very rare you have guardian angels that are overpowering. It's very rare you can go. But normally they're all for you anyway. I know you protect us, yeah. but they don't control you. It's you chose them before you came. Oh, really? Yeah. What can they do? They protect you. They didn't protect me from the clips, three clips on my body. You might clip, you might. Oh, said these are, th these, are th these are things for a learning experience. I have to tell you that. The cl clips might be clipping your, your journey to change your direction. You might have put them there yourself. That's right. Yeah. Wow, I don't know. I would ever wish this upon myself, really. Wow. Well, be careful what you right. say. In, in the last twenty, in the, in the last twenty-one years, you've done the same thing. Same place. Same place. Same thing, you know. Yeah. What have you learned in the last ten that you didn't know in the last eleven before that? Oh, I just love being it's with just, people. Yeah, but it's the same thing. We're, we're here to Earth's a training ground. So I'm doing the same thing for 21 years. This is your position now to change direction. Do something completely new. And you're drawn into this healing center, that healing place. You're drawn into this right healing. There's your, your forward into the healing. Yeah? Um, your choice, huh? Half your face is missing, Rick. <laughs> I know I'm trying. I know, Deb, that I'm fighting this, you know? Um, yes, you're very stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your angels are saying. He doesn't I, want to listen. I know. I just, I don't know. I really want to learn. And, and if this is, you know, I just, I'm scared. You know, I'm scared. What are you afraid of? I'm Change. afraid of not walking. Um, but the only one that's going to keep you from walking is you. I'm so, just scared. You know what? Fear, putting fear out there, you're feeding them. You're continuing feeding the negative. So you're putting it out there. I'm afraid I'm not going to walk again. So then you right. won't. Well, start gratitude, start being thankful, and, and put the fear away because that's the only way that's going to happen is if you allow it to happen. And by putting negative out there, you'll bring negative. By putting positive, loving energies out there, only positive, loving energies are going to come back to you. Okay, so I'm going to work. Stop work the on fear it. because it doesn't do anything but bring more fear to you. You know, last year I broke the uh, ankle and told me Achilles, which is the worst injury a person can ever get. Yeah. What did I do? I didn't even go to the hospital. I just carried on walking. I know. And yeah. you just you put the pain aside. I remember yeah, that. I put the pain aside and just carried on because that wasn't going to stop me. Yeah. 
Yeah. But then after six weeks, I, I got an X-ray, and then they they were a bit baffled how I could actually walk on it. But that was for me to slow down. That's what it was, just for me to slow down. I mean, I know I need to be stubborn about you know what I'm gonna walk again. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna get through this. It's looking at your path. It's looking it's at your goals and your path. Yeah. Goals and your path. It's it's what what. It's what you you need to change. It's telling you to change direction. You've got to find that change of direction. You've already said you'd like to do healing. Yeah. You don't have to put the right key word on it. It's, but you can still do that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not at the top of my chart of, of like what I want well, to do. What's at the top of your chart? But I don't know what's at the top of my chart that I want to do for the rest of my life. For well, I've just said I've just said while. that's what you need. You need at the top of your chart now. It can be healing. And then what happens is things change and then your direction changes because you're on the right path. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do, do you, want, you might as well have a card because you probably need it more than anyone. <laughs> I do, I do. I'm I'm I am i am i am a good I'm gonna be Deb, I'm gonna be a good um I'm gonna be a good patient. <laughs> I'm gonna be a good patient. I'm gonna go forward. I'm gonna um I'm gonna be positive. I'm gonna learn some things by myself. I say I... stop. That's one way. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Stop. And look at this. Wow, oh, it's beautiful. This is Annie, and she keeps me going. Does she have any messages? I don't know because I've just done your cards. Just saying right. love to you. You've got serenity, freedom, and harmony. So there's a message here. What is it? Right. The first one was harmony. Yeah. Harmony, harmony, harmony. The harmony. angels are saying, let go of all your troubles, bring harmony to yourself. And that's what we're saying, basically. Serenity, so I, I can say that, right? Yeah. Peace of mind is within you. Freedom, yeah? yeah? You may feel trapped in prison, but you have the keys to release this. So go on and do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that's roughly what we've been saying for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Harmony, peace of mind, and freedom. Yeah, all within you. It's all within you. All and, of and if, if you met me outside of this situation, you would think, God, she's the most positive, wonderful, nothing gets in her way, everything's wonderful and great. It's a shame you know? she ain't got a goal. <laughs> huh? Tap your goal first. Remember to send the message through. Just I. Okay. Okay. So I just I just want to check what that portal is and then what things are because I haven't seen it before. They don't feel dark and there's no reason for them to there apart from it's a bit like have you ever heard of getting your wings clipped? It's as though you've been clipped deliberately to change your path because you were doing the same thing all the time. Same job happy. all the time. You are yeah, were you happy? You were oh, happy yeah. doing one thing. Life's too short no, to do yeah, the but same he, thing. You know, he's going to make sure that nobody else did that. There isn't somebody else clipping your wings too. So he, he's just yeah. Gonna I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, but I was so happy. Uh, my friends, my clients, my job, really happy. That's called being in a, a comfy zone. Now they put I'm you now. I... Now they put you in a non-comfy zone, and it's up to you to fight for that to get get back on the track. Yeah. 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 Okay. And it could be that you you put yourself there, so he's just going to make sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah it could okay. be that, that you're not hitting your goals where you're supposed to be at this point, and you 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 could have put this there for yourself if you didn't get to a certain point by now. Yeah. This is your booby trap for yourself to get out of. Yeah. To get out of where you are, you you got to change your direction. I I have a I got a psychologist on Monday to talk to someone to talk to. I think it'll help too, um, and that's something I've never done before. You know? What did the card say, though? Pe peace all of the mind. answers, all the answers are within you. Yeah, you've got them all. That's true. I'm trying to look outside of myself for the answers. And yeah, I know answers. you are. You're trying to grasp for it. everybody else to give you the answers when you've got all the answers. You do. You have a whole tool chest right in your heart, right in your heart chakra. They're all there. Your soul I is. Your soul knows what to do. I just have to trust my soul and myself. I think. yes, because yeah. I've been giving giving my energy away for so long. Yep, thinking I, it would making me we happy. All, we all do. We all do. We all have to learn that. It's being in the comfy yeah. zone. Yeah. If you're in the comfy zone, you know you everything's being paid and everyone's happy and everything. You've been yeah. sleepwalking. You've been sleepwalking for 21 years. 
I'm so happy. But I love it. Uh, <laughs> I was really happy though. And I, everybody knows there that I was ha really happy and good at what I did. Really good. And it's hard to think of myself without, without that. Yeah, I was too. I worked for 18 years for American Express. I thought I was going to retire with them. Yeah, other plans happen. It's kind of a jolt when you're like taken out of it really quick, you know? Yeah. And it can be uncomfortable. No kidding. Know? Right? Kidding, I, I'll, 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 give you, I'll give you a story. I had 22 years with my wife and then she died. She had terminally ill with cancer. I was a carer. I, I actually healed her for eight months. She was supposed to have a, a day to live. My kids were at school, so I had to bring him up. And all of a sudden, I went more into spirituality. Oh, when she when she passed away, you did. When she went and pa passed away, I started. I was you digging were myself. Years? I was digging myself in you know, a, a proper old addiction and everything. I I was really going downhill. But spirituality took me out of that. Really? What kind of spirituality did you go for? Uh, healing, I think. Healing? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Remote viewing, uh, warrior work. That I used to do it anyway. I've done it all my life, but I went into it more deeply. Yeah. That makes yeah, sense. And we lost, we lost our jobs of many, many, many years and lost our house and gave away our furniture and we're homeless. And that woke us up. Oh, that was your shift and your change? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't know. We had, we had our four cats and our car, our truck and mattress. Yeah, Carrie, and you do know it's within. It's within. Yeah. You say, I don't know. Yes, you do know. you just got to find the answers in it. Yeah. yeah. Within Philip yeah. and Deb and Rick. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We, 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 dis we discovered we, you know what, we have each other. That's when we started being grateful for everything we did have, not what we lost. Well, I wish I had someone. When, now that I'm alone in my home, I wish I had someone to share my life with. I guess that could be a path. Ask your guides. Uh, tell them to find your joy. I know, because like joy. my cat, I, I saw her on Facebook and I knew she's the one for me. So I was, you know. Uh, well, I don't think you're going to find your your your, uh, on your Facebook? soulmate on Facebook. No? Facebook. So just tell you, ask your guides to find your joy. How about oh, that? Oh, tell them to help me find my soulmate? No, no, just ask them to find your joy. That's part of it. Your my joy, joy, no matter what it is. Joy. Okay. Look at a specific thing. You can't plan your life like that. You've just got to find the answers with it. Go on that path, and if things like that come, they come, then you're on the yeah, right path. I told them to find our joy, and that's how we became healers. And I would ask other people, and you know, just ask your guides. Give them. You got to give them. You have to ask your guides for assistance, not your angels. Your guides. Oh, what's the difference? Because because this is your angels protect you automatically. Your guides, okay. you have to ask them for help because this is free will. Your guides oh. can't help you unless you ask them. Do the guides have names too? I, that's right. I told you. I, I, no, I didn't give you names, did I? Susan and Charles. Susan and Charles. Charles. Those are my guides. Yes. You guides only, they don't show you the path. They, they help you what your path is. You've got to choose the path. Exactly. You can't ask them to choose the path. Because exactly. then what, what's the point of being a human here? <laughs> We've they got can. to make the choices. But they, they can, can guide they can, they can find your joy for you. They can put it in front of you. Oh, okay. That would be give, good. They give you the signs. Okay. okay. But I did, I did tell them, make sure I trip over it. <laughs> you told them, make sure we trip over it? Make sure I trip over it. Because I sometimes it, it, it could be, to them, it's right there in front of me. But if I don't trip over it, I won't see it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what I said. Make uh, sure I okay. trip over it. Okay. Because I can get ditzy. I can't I got, believe because I'm I'm always trying. I got all these balls in the air. I want to trip over it. Oh, you tell him you want to trip over it. Oh, I got it. Yes. Okay, yeah. And that I did this to myself this time of year, the happiest time of my life, Christmas time. You know, I really did a shenanigan on myself by it can choosing. Still be the happiest time. It can yeah. Still be. You it, make it the happiest time. It's up to you. Yeah. Okay. You know, you can sit in your car and drive someplace. It doesn't. It's not that far a walk. I can't drive right now. Because of your ankles? The pain. Uh-huh. And I can't get out and walk anywhere because it's painful. I'm kind of homebound most of the time. And then I do, try to, I do get out and then I pay for it later. Okay. You could rent one of those those wheeled things. I know. Rent it. I wouldn't let it stop me. That I, does me driving with a broken ankle. <laughs> I know. I need some someone with a wheelchair and get me out. 
you know? All right. We've got to move on. All right. I haven't All eaten right. yet today. All right. Yeah. I'm getting cranky. Okay. Like Phil when I when we're hungry. Bye, Deb. Bye, Deb. Bye, Phil. I love you. I love Send you. Send that message. Send that message so I can tap into you. I will. I'm just very interested. Great. Don't expect okay. an answer straight away. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait on it. Okay. Don't expect an answer. And then if you do get one, you get one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, won't, I won't be sitting there going, okay, what is he going to say? Okay. Maggie, Maggie is next. Is that what she said? All right, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome, welcome, honey. Bye. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Maggie, I haven't seen you in forever. Hey, guys. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you guys so much last Saturday. I want to join you, but I had uh, for a long time already, one month before I had an appointment with a Zoom meeting and took so long and I say, no, this is now too late. And then I left for the, this weekend. Thank oh, you, you so you, much. You, you, were, you were here last weekend? No, because I had the, another appointment. I, oh. I I was waiting one month. Uh, last well, week's lasted six hours, by the way. Yeah, that was long. Wow, really? You could have come in. You could have come up. Yeah, oh, it's hours. Oh, then it'll be too much. Today's four. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, four hours today. I, I didn't think it was going to last this long. Wow. Yeah, it's not so many people today. Well, I tried to be quickly. Uh, thank you so much, Deb, for your loving care and offer last time when I had my my sinuses uh, infection. It was very bad, and I'm still having because it, it suddenly just get closed one time, and I don't get any air. And ten days after I had the infection, I I just fell and I was looking like this. Can you see the picture? Yes. Wow. And it was very strange because I fell on my face and it was so that it was like I was next to my body watching me fall. I fell and I listened to a noise and I, I, I remember that I asked myself, what is this? And then I realized that I was on the floor like a frog. And my face, I fell like this, but my my face was on the side, and I I I, I injured my nose here, and I didn't break anything. And the only thing I had at home it was the colloidal silver, and I was washing all the time until it stopped. Um, uh, bleeding and I was afraid I say my god what I'm going to do now and I was checking myself and my teeth and I I, I come inside the house and the, I was like in trance and I couldn't go to bed earlier because I was uh, afraid to touch my nose and start to bleed again because it was a huge thing here and um, one o'clock more or less in the morning, I went to bed, and after three or three hours, I woke up and I start to I I tried to get up of the bed, and my body was shaking that I couldn't stand up without hold on 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 the door, and uh, it was very very strange. My whole body shaking that I I send an audio. You were vibrating. The... You were vibrating. You were you woke up in the middle of a of a, a healing. They were healing you. I'm, that's the message I'm getting now. Oh, because I I couldn't walk and I uh, I couldn't write anything, type, and then I I send an audio to the group and I ask I say guys I don't know what I'm going to do I'm feeling bad and I I cannot ask no one for help and thank God uh, also Dave David uh, uh, recommend me. Um, meditation i sit here four o'clock in the morning i did the meditation and when the meditation was finished i was only feeling my hands a little bit shaking and then i went to bed i slept for four hours more and from this day i start to get better after six days it fall down everything and now i am healed and everyone say cannot be that you didn't break anything only my nose here three days ago i start to wear my glasses on my nose but the nose is still uh, uh, sensitive but it was like a, a 
huge, huge blessing. When I, I, I stand up, I was just touching my face and think to myself, my God, what I'm going to do if I need to go to a hospital now? And I was really, really worried. And since in the next day, yeah, just when you, yeah, when you stood up and you were, your body was, it wasn't shaking, it was actually vibrating. You were actually being healed by the angels. You should have just laid right back down and could, so they could complete their healing. Uh, I, I thought that maybe because uh, of the mechanism of protection, I wasn't feeling the, the, the when I fell down, I was worried to, to get myself up and take care because I am alone. And after I relaxed three hours on the bed, I thought this was the effect of the shock from falling and now oh, it was crazy. <laughs> I say, what come next, please? Yeah, sometimes, But, um, sometimes when there's an archangel or an ascended master too, you'll feel the vibration from them as well. You'll feel your body vibrate when they're close by. So, wow. the archangel Michael was actually there, and, um, and he's telling me now that your body, they were, they were there doing healing on your body, and you were being protected. You actually were protected from that fall because it could have been a lot worse. In front of me, uh, uh, Deb, it was a corner, very sharp. It's, uh, if I fell like this, I, I don't know what could be happen. I, yeah. when, they, they when I passed, they actually protected you going down, and that you got the, you got the. It, it could have been so much worse than what happened. Yes. To you. So you no, got sometimes scraped. you got scraped compared to what. Yeah. Sometimes when I look at this place, I ask myself, it made no sense the way I fell down here because it doesn't fit together, the, the position, yeah. but it was, oh my God, I yeah. can't well, the, well, the angels were there. <laughs> well, your uh, angels were working. <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine. And, and they listen all the time by any chance how grateful I am that they protected me. Yeah. And uh, since in I, I fell, I have this this side of my neck. I think is where you say last time that I have this pinched nerve. Yeah. yeah. And I have every day now very much tension on my shoulder that in okay. this time of the night when I move my head, it's like everything just yeah. break down. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Can you say it like Maggie? Yes, I do. I feel like a warm hug. Yeah, that neck pain's coming over. You mm -hmm. might feel it going. I feel like you lost your power a little bit because of that fall, so I'm going to try and connect it up again. Mm -hmm. yeah, how do you feel? It's much soft now. I know, it's, it's quite hard on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> But it was really before, it was really like uh, making noise from stretching, you know? Now it's okay. much better. Well, that cracking, you know, that static cracking, that's mm -hmm. negative energy, that's like pain energy. So I, I, I take it off you. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, before I couldn't move my head like this. Mm. You got oh, your power back. It's a huge difference now. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um. I, I had a question, Deb. I had a feeling when I fall, it was like someone pushed me down. Am I, am I think something wrong? Or because it was, I don't know. I, it was strange. But I say stop while Deb's finding out. Stop, please. Possibility. Um, did you feel any negative energies around you? Well, not in this day especially, because I had a good day, I was care about myself, I did the house, and then in the night, I was here and I say, oh, tomorrow is garbage day, um, I'm going to put my garbage out now, because and then is my day complete. And I, I was feeling good, and I just took the garbage out, and suddenly I missed the last step from the stairs, because it was also dark. But did you feel well. did you feel a, a physical push or did you feel a spiritual push? No, I felt like like it was physical. What your cards mean, by the way? You have an extra blessings of the angels going through this difficult time at the moment. And don't worry about it because if you don't worry about it, the healing will just complete. Just carry on. Yeah. 
I wouldn't even worry if it was a push or a non-push. I don't think it's on. I don't think someone would have pushed you anyway, unless you had to learn a lesson. You might have needed a rest, some healing. Mm -hmm. So they, they might push you deliberately so you have rest to have healing off other things. But I don't feel any negative in the house, do you, Jen? Uh, I have to say, although my, my situation didn't change because the, the, my neighbor, I, I start to help her with her son and to make lunch for him when he come from school. And then the lady who worked for her before decided to come back and she took her back because she was already one year by her before. And then I come to the zero point again, but I have to say, I, I'm feeling different now. I'm not desperately, and I feel calm. You, I feel you might calm. have had some. You might have needed some thinking time. My my crystal balls just moved on its own. Twelve twelve inches. <laughs> Again. My crystal balls just moved twelve inches on its own. <laughs> Oh, uh, Debbie, can I ask you just one more question? Can you or Phil or Rick, anyone tell me the name of my guide? Because I ask them, but I don't know if they show me. I don't see it. And I like to speak to them directly. I just feel this this uh, connection with um, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. And, can I, can and, I and say, Mike. I've got yeah. one name. I've got Matthew. I've Matthew. got Matthew, V Matthew. Mm. Matthew, Mata Matthew. Ah, Matthew, okay. I thought that's what I said. <laughs> you also have a Michael, which is not, Mikkel, which is not Archangel Michael, but uh, another Michael, Mikkel. Oh, okay. Mikkel, Mikkel. Um, okay. Ma Matthew is V Matthew, by the way. It is Matthew anyway. Uh, I've read the Bible many years ago. You mean what? What are the four? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's the one. Yeah, Matthew. <laughs> that's the one. Yeah. Don't know what we did, but. And you have no, a was... you have a Marco. You have a Marco. 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 Marco, Michael, and Matthew. Everything you have, we you have all the beautiful men around you. Wow. <laughs> Three, three M's. I am Maggie and I have Matthew, Miguel, and Marco. Oh my God. <laughs> and you have guides, uh, your guide there, Lydia and um, Lydia, Lydia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And and your um, another one is Margaret. Margaret, well, Ma Marguerite, Marguerite, she, Marguerite, like Margarita, like the this drink. This is my name. This is and my real well, name. Well, <laughs> were, you, were you named after somebody? No, uh, my name is Margarida, Margarida Maria, double name. Were you named like, after someone? Uh, no, because uh, when I came to Germany 30 years ago, I didn't like how they pronounce my name. And then a friend of mine started to call me Maggie. And since I am in Europe 30 years now, I am Maggie and my name is strange for me. I, I, if someone say next to me, Maggie, I first I don't react because I, I and after I realize, oh, that's me. And since then I am in Europe, no one called me Margarita and the name is for me strange now. Now, why did I, did, why did I hear the name Margarita? As that's one of your angels, that's so weird. Is that what you were originally called, Margarita? In Brazil, Margarida. Yeah, where did that name where did that name come from? I don't know. My mother gave me this name when I was yeah. born. I have no idea. So, that's what I mean. I think it's one of your ancestors' names. Because yeah. that's who your guardian who your guide is. Oh, okay. You you don't think it's one of your aunties or one of your mother's ancestors? Well, to be honest, uh, I didn't get to know the family of my parents because they were living so far. I didn't get to meet any grandparents, any only one auntie. And well, no I, I think else. this I think this Margarita is one of your mother from, from your family. Oh, okay. she's one of your angel. Fantastic. Okay. I think, I think you are named after her. Oh, okay. I will try to find out. <laughs> yes, please do. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I wish you, all you. of you a blessed Christmas, peaceful and filled with blessings you and healthy for all of us. Thank you so much. I love you Thank all. You. I love you too, honey.
Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, Lily. Bye. Bye. I think the next one is Ryan. Australian Ryan. <laughs> hey, no, not going, the bro? Ryan. What's happening, what's Ryan? What's going on? What's been happening? Goodbye. I don't know. Bye, what no. creepy crawlies do you have for us today? Is it 8 a.m. there? Ryan. Yeah, it's 8 35. In the morning? Yeah. yeah, in the morning, yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Sunday, right? Tomorrow. I'm in the future. Oh, good God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I haven't been with anyone like two sessions with you guys. Like I haven't been without anyone. Um, so I'm trying to see what have you got? What have you gotten yourself into? And you showered, okay? <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> Only I shower a lot. I shower like five times a day. I I just have showers all day. It's so hot, you know. Ah, oh, that's right. It's your stomach. And it clears you. I'm it clears you too. I'm, I'm freezing shower. here. Let's see. Yeah, I've actually got an easy blanket on. Yeah, that's a cold easy. I'm not much of a winter person, you know? Do you feel like you have somebody inside? Well, um, I don't know, but I, my dream last night, there was a girl talking or something else, so I don't know. We haven't got any insects, are we? Oh, wow. Yeah, I still like, I'm, I feel like I'm just getting over that, that uh, infection, which was a parasite, you know, like physical, but then also the astral. I feel in my stomach though, like, that's why I throw my stomach. But that's pretty good though, if there's nothing there. I feel like there's something hiding. I felt something and now I can't find it. Peekaboo. Come on. It's a shapeshifter. I don't feel that bad though. Hmm? I don't feel dark, dark. No. Not, not demonic. <laughs> it keeps hiding. Like, it doesn't give me a chance to analyze it for very long. It's jumping in and out of you. So I don't know if you feel that. Yeah, I can usually, I, if I feel a headache, maybe that's yeah. when I feel the headache, that's <laughs> it. Hey, so I was feeling it. So you thought it was, you had a dream about a girl, but it really wasn't a girl. It's an it. It shapeshifts. I was protecting it. I was protecting the, the girl from yeah, people. Yeah, you know, because you're a guy and you're a straight guy. So if you were if you were gay, would it said a nice, you know, gay man. Ah, yeah. Uh, so it's whatever like you're a... attracted to, he would have done, it, it would have done whatever you're attracted to. Mm. It's like a trickster. Yeah, it's tr it's definitely a trickster. I think feel like that. Not human, this thing. And yeah, in Astro, you like connecting with loads of beings. Yeah, I feel you that. Like, you like, like I just wander. Like the gift of the flannel with the love. You remind <laughs> me of the, you know, the actor in Guardians of the Galaxy, and he, he likes to talk to them all. And yeah, I'm Star Lord. Like. You're Star Lord in Astro. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like. Just, I just wander talking to everyone. I have no boundaries, you know, just, and I take people for rides and I drive people around and. <laughs> yeah, the Uber driver in Astral. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and I and I, I, I ingest a lot of things. Like I feel like I, I was I think I was like smoking something last night. Like, Hello. He froze. He was going to tell us the truth and it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. You froze. So what were you smoking last night? Was that in Astral? What were you real? smoking? Yeah, I was smoking weed. So oh. I feel like I, I was high when I woke up. I felt pretty high. So you were dream smoking weed yeah i don't smoke i haven't smoked any weed for a long time and i don't drink and that i was smoking weed that's not funny enough and i was going to turn it into an oil something i don't know how to do any of that like so it could be help like trying to heal me but i don't know maybe pretty make i get very affected by a lot of things you know like I feel like i get affected um a lot about substances like you know so i don't really do them because i get so affected by it yeah nothing affects me and that's sort of Apart from once, I had magic mushrooms, and my mate looked like the bloke from Beetlejuice with a long neck. Oh, a bit weird in Ireland, obviously. Uh, ma mushrooms are pretty healing, aren't they? Though, like they kind of they get rid of your programs, kind of thing. Yeah, the, the, you just got to be careful what vibration you know when you. Yeah, um, that's right. Yeah, you don't want to be in a low vibration when you start that, or you go and go. I, I, I don't I don't do any of that stuff. I can't yeah. even smoke pot. I, pot doesn't I pot and I don't like each other. I haven't done Not it for in you. 30, 30 yeah. 40 years. Oh, you're yeah. still on it now, Deb. You've had a 40 year trip. <laughs> That's right, yeah. You can just activate it naturally anyway. No, it's pot pot it's like I'm I took acid. Pot does that to me. Like allergic reaction kind of thing. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. We don't like each other. So we just avoid each other. 
Yeah, it doesn't affect it just shows you how different we all are, you know, some people yeah. can do things, some people can't. Yeah, I can't, yeah. And this, you know, pot from 40 years ago, it wasn't placed like it is now. I don't know what they do to it now. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's legal it's, here. Yeah. It's legal in, in Arizona. So you, you can get mm -hmm. pretty good. It does me no good. <laughs> yeah, you can grow your own and everything here, so. I know CBD oil's pretty good, like would be good. I've never had it before, but I hear good things about it. CBD oil, like the full spectrum one, the one that has all the THC yes. and then the other yeah, one. Yeah, I've, heard, I've heard it gets rid of cancer, doesn't it? I've yeah, it's, but, it, but you don't have all the pesticides and you don't have all the other stuff in it that, you know, obviously it's mm. got to be made clean, you know, pure. Yeah, there's a guy my son knows in uh, Las Vegas that has all of that stuff. and we could pretty much get it for free if we need it. Yeah, it's good to meditate with, I suppose, like meditate. If you can't, a lot of people can't meditate. You know? I, I've, I've never used thinking. it, so. Yeah, you don't need it. It's not, you don't need it. <laughs> no, we have Phil. <laughs> There's our full yeah. spectrum. Full, full spectrum. <laughs> full spectrum. <laughs> well, yeah, you can, just, I just, you can call it all in, can't you? You can call anything in. Like if yeah. everything's within us, we can call yeah. it in. You know, I could be, I am the mushroom. I am the CBD, I can be it, you know, like, yeah, yeah, we don't need it. You, you can channel the energies of it. So, someone yeah. said that they wanted some because they knew someone who had a full cancer. And I said, Oh, it takes me 24 hours to get old, get it made. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I can get hold of it if they really wanted to, but at the end of the day, it doesn't do well for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was in uh, Edinburgh, Scotland, Edinburgh. You can imagine Sabrine, and everyone was absolutely sky. Did nothing for me. Absolutely did nothing for me. Uh, wow. That's a waste of money doing that. It is. It's very expensive. I know that. You can I just think, channel I think it in. It, I think what it is, if you can get it inside very easily, then you can get stoned very easily. But if you can get it inside, then all of a sudden your brain has got locks. So it doesn't affect you as much. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you got to kind of allow it. Or, mm. Yeah. Oh, what a subject. <laughs> So, what are you doing with the trick? What are we doing with the trickster? You might like. Well, did you find him? No. No, I didn't do that. With him. I'm too tight. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Uh, let me find him. He's back inside him again while we were talking. Oh, he's gone. I'm going to get He's in my house, maybe. I'm going to, I'm going to create a portal in your house. I'll send him to the right. <laughs> For a minute, then, he tried to be you. <laughs> Two yous. <laughs> The only thing is, one's a bit 4D-ish and one's 3D. Yeah, I feel like that. I feel that. Did we get rid of the portals in his place? We gotta have portals there. Yeah, I got rid of the trickster. Yeah. No, Thank so, you. Yeah, I created a portal and just kicked him in and then closed it. So yeah, how did he get there? You did it in dream space, didn't you? Uh, mm. Yeah, because he said he had a dream about this woman. So you would have been in your subconscious sort of thing. Or in astral. Are you in astral again? Yeah. Oh. You, you keep, brought it back. You keep picking up these people, these things. It's probably my purpose, you know? Like, it's probably <laughs> my purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to figure out how to create boundaries and or something. And or I don't kick know. Kick them off. Kick them to the curb, man. The, the thing is, that being wasn't horrible, nasty, evil. No, it wasn't. It <laughs> That's wasn't. why I kicked it into a riot. Because I can't <laughs> kill some of it. It hasn't been. It hasn't done anything wrong. Well, it's been, it's wrong, but it hasn't done anything evil. Well, Ryan wouldn't be the best place either, though, eh? Uh, it, it can mess the reptilians up, man. <laughs> Shapeshifting, yeah, mess them up, I don't mind. They mess my life up enough times. It's a pretty fun place to be. The cleaning up is difficult. Yeah. So I don't have any more, like, there's no more, like, implants and, like, AI. No. I don't feel anything. No. Wow, so I, I feel like I've had everything. I've had implants, I've had parasites. I don't feel like I'll ever get anything any, anymore. Like, I feel like I've been through it now. You guys have He had a cockroach, me. he's had a big moth. <laughs> moth, yeah, like a frog. Now, a now frog you got a trick. Yeah. <laughs> trick star, I've had a person inside me now. Wow, yeah. Yeah, we had a person, yeah. You know, it's a person in your eye. You, 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 you're party goer from Astra. <laughs> yeah, and I was uh, sacrificed in a volcano, like very yeah. slowly. Like that was pretty crazy. Like I feel like maybe it's just all coming up, like timelines too. Like you know, when all the timelines are merging. You're so, so popular. <laughs> maybe I have to go through it all. I just feel like I have to go through it all, eh? But not again. Like I won't manifest it again. You know, like yeah. Um, 
I, th- I think what you had today wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't. Right. Yeah. yeah. I feel pretty you, good. You like, could have probably lived with that. Yeah, but living with myself you, is hard enough. You, you know? probably have some cracking dreams. Yeah, it's, I feel like I've been dating, like, you know, it's not me. It's just, I go wherever, you know. Mm-hmm. You're good. Good today. Thank you, so. guys. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. I think I'm the last person, so Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry <laughs> Christmas to you too. Go on, I'll give you one card. I'm getting tired. All right. Stop. Yeah, you got me. You got an Astra play like on the is it on the inner child or play like a child? Uh, yeah, you got to be have joy on your journey, but you probably have loads of joy on your journey. So I don't know why you got that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe in, even a different way. Mm. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Gonna go spend time great. with your family. Yeah, Enjoy probably. Yourself. I'm gonna go yeah, lie in the sun. <coughs> I am sorry, I have missed Gabrielle. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Ryan. We'll see you after the new year. <laughs> thank you. Happy Take new it year, easy. Ryan. Merry Welcome. Christmas. The, uh, Enjoy thank your you. party. I will. I will. You two guys. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Hello, Gabrielle. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. It's good to yeah. see. You. I was hoping that if you could do a patient. healing scan for me. The scan. Oh, the scan. Yeah, three keys. I feel like see one of those um, staples in her lower back. You see it? No, I'm just going to set both up. Where are they coming from? I don't know. In the EIC percent. You feel that energy get Gabriel or Gabriel? Yeah, I feel like it's going on my back, lower back. I don't feel a portal in the house. Did, um, did you go someplace new this week? Um, I went over to Vaughn's house. Um, I went to the grocery store. Um, I think that's the only places that I've been. Did you go anywhere with that you felt some funky energy? I mean, pretty much anytime I'm not at home, I'm <laughs> questioning. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I tend to feel drained when I go go out. How do you feel? I, I feel sort of, I've, I've got thought, more energy. What is it with these staples? Is it the new implants that they're doing? There's nothing attached to it. There's nothing showing that there's anything that. Um, it just looks like a plastic staple. It doesn't look like a, um, it's transmitting anything. There's nothing showing. I don't know where it's coming. It just looks like it's causing pain. I've boosted your aura field anyway. Yes. Just stop you feeling Thank drained. You. When you go out. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Okay. You, I, I think I took some. But, energy, um, I, I took some energy off your neck. Have you got pain on your neck? Yeah, that's generally. I feel like that's where my tension is. Like it tends to build there. Yeah, that weight of the world syndrome. I think when I looked it up spiritually. I was saying something like that. So release ground more. That's definitely been coming up. You know what these look Did like? Did you see? I, you know when you um, when you put down cable wire and they they staple it, it looks like that, but only wider. Tax. Yeah. Electric tax. Yeah. Cable tax. Yeah. Hmm. That's what they look like, but it, like they, right. they they put it at the, like the bottom of their back, like just above the. The, the tailbone, mm-hmm. but it's yeah. like wider, wider. Gotcha. Like the clips, it kind of reminds me of like how they put the Christmas lights in. Yeah, this. wider and flatter. It's like flatter, but that's what it looks like. And it doesn't have any electronics. It has, doesn't have anything inside it. It just looks like okay. Let me just give her like a inch in her back. Like, let me just staple mm-hmm. that there. Yeah, but it doesn't. Yeah. It's not connected to anything. I'm pressed up. Say stop. Uh, yeah. Stop. And there's nothing to identify where it came from. Mm-hmm. You feel like that too? I'm not sure. Look after your body, physical body that is. And you've got someone called Michael behind you. I'm not quite sure who he is. Oh, Michael. He, he's <laughs> making his presence now. He just oh, does that. To, he just does that to annoy him, you know. Michael's. So we'll pop my neck a little bit. That neck pain should be cut. Yeah. That's what I was saying. It felt good because it was like everything was loose. It just went into place when I did that. It's like after you get a massage, it kind of just loosens everything up. Here. I know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate okay. it. 
and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks. Okay.